Hello, we are live. I think. Hello. I hope so. Um, yeah. Uh, welcome to the party. Welcome to Shadowrun New Atlantis, um, where we forget the whole idea about being the good guys and saving the world, and instead we're going to mug somebody so that we can pay rent. <laughs> Yeah. All right. yeah. <laughs> it's pretty accurate, pretty really. Um, last session we played was a uh, downtime one. It was in between arcs. Um, and so we're jumping into our, our second arc, the second job. Um, and so we're... Why don't we introduce everybody? Let's start uh, on screen my right. So that would be uh, Monk. Who are you? Uh, um, I am a troll. Are you personal or are you character? <laughs> uh, both. But we'll do we'll do okay. like any plugs you have at the very end. But like, okay, char character no. in you. Okay, um, I'm playing a troll, a uh, vinyl troll. So I'm gonna stand out real uniquely. Been personally, I've been gaming since 1985. So I'm really looking forward to jump into my first real shadow run game here. So like I albino troll because like usually their skin is like dark reddish or or something like that. They also have horns and stuff. So like, how do you think that comes across? It could because they're not human, so it could come across right. different. Like they could be blue for all I care. Like, yeah. what do you think? Yeah, no, I've got that more grayish tone about me. When my horns are more um, alabaster, and then where the ridges of your horns actually come across, actually got that darker gray in between the, the ridges of the horn so sweet and then and then my character trying to make himself a little bit unique has actually started tattooing himself oh very cool i bet that contrast Ooh. really really cool <laughs> um so. nerdy teddy bear who are you and who are you playing as hey uh nerdy teddy bear um, you seem probably seen me yesterday if you were around uh <laughs> i play star uh an elf cat burglar who's uh actually a bit cat like got some cat eyes going on and half uh half my face is nice and nice and silvery and uh i'm in mama bear mode yes <laughs> as, as right <laughs> yep yep yeah no she she found that there might be a person stalking her like what four-year-old daughter Eight so eight-year-old eight year old daughter yeah, yeah so yeah. very concerned right now <laughs> and but this is Shadowrun, so we get to just do what we want about that <laughs> um uh silverstorm who, who are you who are you playing as um i'm silverstorm i i'm a player here at welcome at welcome to the party i'm playing as valkyrie um, an elf, um, uh, an elf hitman who, uh, recently discovered that Star is, uh, my sister. We haven't seen each other in 12 years. <laughs> we, we, yeah. So, that was new and, and exciting. <laughs> yep. Uh, and who, who is this other person who's here? Who, who oh. are you? Some random weird person that just wandered into the stream. <laughs> I am Capjack, and I am playing my namesake, Capjack, the uh, troll music fiend. Troll? I mean orc. orc. Wow. You're an orc. Yeah. <laughs> troll. Surprise! <okay. laughs> During downtime, You're I spent dead. a lot of karma. No. <laughs> During downtime, you asked Scabs to make you, you a troll. You entered a cocoon and just <laughs> Surprise! emerged. <laughs> No, I am. Uh, I am playing. I am playing Capjack, uh, who is the German, and uh, I will get my accent as I go again. I'm. There we go. Hoi, <laughs> chamas! It's Capjack. There we go. Now I'm back in character. <laughs> All right, cool. And I'm Shogun. I will be running this game. Um, let me know, fun. everyone, like in the chat, if anything audio-wise is unbalanced. Um, and changing from stream to stream different people's mics are different so i gotta adjust them and adjust the stream volume so let me know if anything's wrong uh other than that uh, i'd like to just get into it um and to do though that 
I want to start with Knuckles, the troll. Um, <coughs> you have been uh, smuggled into New Atlantis. That's kind of how criminal types get into New Atlantis. Okay. Um, and you have been offered, you don't have to take this, but you've been offered free lodging in what is being called the Loft. It is this uh, place where a notable criminal member, uh, specifically the son of the guy in charge of the local Italian mafia, yeah. is kind of gathering shadow runners together, not necessarily for personal use, although definitely he probably will hire them from time to time, but almost more as kind of a, a connoisseur. He's interested in the craft of shadow running and wants to observe. Okay. Um, so if you're willing to to be around, uh, that lodging is free for you if you want it. Yeah, if he's got sporting events on TVs and so forth like that, and ale or beer to drink with it, I'll be more than happy. <laughs> All right, wonderful. So uh, you are picked up um, by a um, black van, which drives itself and transports you from the dock over to the loft, which is the second story of this rectangular plasticrete building. Uh, there's no, uh, as far as you're aware, there's no stairs inside the building to get to the second story. The stairs on the outside of the building are the only way to get into the second story. So you mm. won't be going into the first floor. It's only the second floor. That's where you're going to be hanging out. You're, on a uh, led up there by um, kind of a shadowy man in a suit who identifies himself as a mafia member um, and says, uh, just pick any bed that's not taken. All right. So do you have any other visitors currently staying here with you? We do. Um, and I've been told to advise you to uh, tag along with them if you can get them to agree. Uh I've uh, both been told that they probably could use someone like you with your skills, as well as um, it, it's a good way to learn the ropes of a new town. Sounds good. I will give them a try. Yes. Have a good day. And Thank you. And he heads down the stairs. Uh, All right. Before you, you see the door is like kind of a heavy-ish metal door. Um, you don't think it could take like, you know, a bazooka, but... And, you know, maybe with some good work, like, you might be able to break it, but it's it's pretty tough. That's It's okay. kind of secure. Um, so, but it is I've unlocked. Certain, so I've got a certain level of comfort that this place should be somewhat secure if I decide to stay here long term? Yeah, it's not going to fight, you know, fight off a, a military attack, but it's, it's something. It's not just a townhouse. All right. Well, I will walk up to the door and kind of give it a glance over to make sure I'm not going to get myself like shocked or something. There's no beam or like being set up here. Yeah. If you want to, you can, you can roll, uh, either if you have in your knowledge skills, uh, security, you can roll that. Or if you have, uh, uh, just visual perception, which is in the uh, intuition skills. Okay. Intuition. Just roll as many dice as you have number in that skill. Uh, okay. and, can take I've only got two dice in there, so... Um, you know what? what? You can throw your specialty on there specifically towards explosives. Okay. Um, I've got a two, six, two hits. i got a six and a five. Wonderful. Yeah. Uh, no, it looks safe. Um, it looks frequently used, and okay. it doesn't look like it's hooked up to anything. Well, then, if it doesn't look like it's hooked up, I'll sit there, just grab the handle, and give it a good twist, and walk on in, fully uh, confident of myself. <laughs> uh, walking in, you would find... So, Star, you are not here, is that correct? You stayed home? Yes, I stayed. Correct, stayed you there. stayed at your other hideout, and Valkyrie, yep. did you stay there with her, or I, did you come I, back to the loft? I don't remember. I don't, I don't care what happened before. We can retcon to just say, what What do you want to be happening? I know I'm going with her, like, first thing in the morning. So I guess there's no point in coming back. Okay. So I guess I'll stay. All right. So one night. I'm um, in there. You would see 
Uh, there appears to be a human sleeping over in the corner. Uh, has like a sheet over his head, so you can't really see who it is. Um, you also see a second human uh, lying on the couch in front of the TV that is uh, blaring some music. Um, this human, ha- his right arm is entirely machine, and it appears to be kind of this older, like, less like future cyberware, more like a forklift, like kind of industrial. Okay. Um, and then also you would see... Uh, I'm going to say it's kind of early. So you would also see uh, an orc kind of waking himself up over uh, in the corner or or towards the wall. I guess to do a, uh, yeah, like in the far corner of the room. Yeah. Um, So basically at the moment, just waking up. Yeah. Like no shirt, tons of tattoos all over. Um, Let's see. Currently the tattoos would be call it runic themed okay okay well when uh, you look if you happen to look over and see me i'm pretty much about almost eight foot tall troll tusk sitting about three inches above my lip wearing a biker jacket and everything with um levi's i got patches across them with a black shirt underneath it um my hair is kind of a whitish color that contrasts to my gray skin and i just kind of look around you know, do i see like a kitchen or something yeah so the layout is um over in one corner area there's just kind of a a kitchen-ish area and then kitty corner so uh, opposing corner from there is a like divided off bathroom area and then everything else someone just went to a used uh um furniture store and just bought everything and then dumped it all in here so there's just a sort of couches beds dressers and just all over the place and so some of them have been claimed but most of it's open okay well i will start my way do you have any weapons on you visibly um visibly the only thing you would see would be my pistol that kind of sticks out underneath the my end of my biker jacket all right cool um so capjack is going to jump out of the bed into a combat stance who the fuck are you (laughs) chama i'd be calling knuckles you what are you doing here? I was dropped off after I got brought in by some pals that introduced me to this place and said it'd be a safe place to camp out today. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> um, Knock on the door. <laughs> uh, he didn't say uh, no. So I just walked in. Figured <laughs> somebody coming through the door should be welcomed here. The, oh. the guy who is laying on the couch jerks up off the couch, goes, hmm. Yeah. When he jumps, uh, my hand my hand goes to the inside of my jacket until he calms down. <laughs> I, who are you? I am Knuckles, and you? Slice. Slice. Okay. Hi there. Is this, well, oh. Are you finished having your heart attack? Um. Hang on. As he says, hang on, I walk <laughs> over to the refrigerator, open it up any beer or anything like that in here uh yeah quite quite a bit of assorted stuff he's uh bottom shelf's mine don't touch those ones you can have the rest i grab from the <laughs> bottom shelf i look at him and toss it at him as i grab one off the top <laughs> shelf and break the break the cap off of it and drink it and says enjoy yours i'm doing mine all right yeah <laughs> and he opens it up and takes a long drink all right yeah all i don't right. got anything to do today and he just lays back down and starts drinking <laughs> i at that point there, I look over at the orc and watch how he's still waking up and everything. Kind of he's just kind of looking at you like, what the hell? <laughs> <You're> <laughs> but all right, I like it. I like it. <laughs> God. All right, so he, he's going to come over, extend his hand. Capjack, good to meet you. <laughs> Knuckles. Knuckles. I'll give you a good squeeze on the hand and everything. This is Are you attempting one. to like... No, no, I'm not doing okay. any strength tests. Just good firm, okay, cool. let you know that you, you, I mean it. So, if you want a drink, I hear the bottom shelf is really good. Out of curiosity, what is your strength? I'm uh, going to guess it's like really high. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's nine. pretty good. Uh, okay, uh, sorry, yeah, wow. So, yeah, it's augmented to nine. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> All right. I hear the bottom shelf is supposed to be really good. Um, Capjack? Roll me yeah. flat intuition. 
Okay. I'm, this is just going to be your one hit. Okay, yeah. yeah. You can feel the strength in this hand, and you can feel that he's mm -hmm. choosing not to hurt you. You can you you can bet he can he can do some extensive damage if he chooses to. Nice. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. No, that's a uh, that slice of shelf. Ah. But the rest have at it. You're a runner. Uh, when I need to be, pay the bills. <laughs> yeah, that's always the goal, right? Yeah, or buy more alcohol, bet some, win some, lose a lot. I mean, oh, I like you. <laughs> <laughs> have you have you been to Simon's yet? What did you just get in town? Just got in town off the boat. Ah, oh, where from? Um, <laughs> we'll we'll discuss that another time. Fair, 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 fair. I'm an old Berliner, so always looking for federal friends. Ah, um, well. So we're going to, that that's how that conversation goes, that, that you guys are, are pleasant to each other. Slice chips in a bit to the conversation every once in a while. And we're going to jump over to Valkyrie, who is woken up by an alert on her comm link. Okay, I'll check it. Um, it's a, an alert that is specifically messaged to you and other people. Like, not, it's not just blanket everyone in the Shadowrunner community, but a few selected people, and you are amongst those. Mm -hmm. um, it says, uh, uh, attention, professional hitters. Okay. We are opening up a service which will expedite um, your acquisition of jobs. If you okay. accept, you will be given uh, text messages indicating targets near you with basic details. Uh, we promise anonymity and that all targets are not affiliated in any way with relevant players. Okay. It's Murduber. <laughs> it, it, it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love right. Shadow. Um, I'm cautious. I want this, but this is very similar to uh, what happened before. Um, it says that it is like not obviously like he's not like bankrolling it, but he but it has been approved by Simon. Okay, but still, it's it's give me a bad feeling. Uh, do you want to roll, I guess, sense motive or whatever that one is? Okay. Um, what is like, it? Would there be anything that would help me identify? Like, I'm I'm trying to look. Like, is there anybody that I know from that previous group that um? That I could recognize in the certain way this this was written. Um, that would just be flat like intuition. Um, All right. this is being posted by like the same admin account that gave you guys the the assassination job. Okay. It's probably so not like I the mean... originator of the of the idea, but it's reposting it to try and make it official. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, if you just roll flat your intuition, you can s try and spot people from your past who might be one hit. One hit. Um, it's extremely hard to tell, but it doesn't look like it. Okay. I mean... It's pretty brief and to the point. Like, there's not a lot to go on. Yeah. And it's going to be harder for me to get any jobs that I want aside from this. So I guess I'll... Jump on yeah, the, the idea is it's going to be like you get a text. Oh, the person two people forward in the line for coffee is a target. Mm -hmm. Shoot him and get a hundred new yen. <laughs> yeah, so I guess I'll I'll be on board with that mailing list. Okay. Um, star. Uh, this day is another school day, so your daughter heads off 
to school. She gets on the bus. Um, since you're usually not around, the bus driver does come to the door and knocks, and she'll go out. Okay. Uh, so the two of you would be awake and uh, there. Sure. What are you guys going to do? Right. Um, I'm probably just uh, making some kind of breakfast and, okay. you know, some coffee. <laughs> I'm going to... How built is this thing that they have? It's an extremely simple system. Like it, it all it is is you're just going to be received text based on, uh, like the location of targets. I want to know if the person that we're going to be tracking is on this list. Uh, it's not a list thing. It's just a uh, as they pop up. So, it's not okay. like a constant list. You'll be alerted when they when the people running it think it's relevant. That's it. Okay. That's too bad. Alright, whatever. Yeah. Um, Kill me that. That's a much better app name. Yeah. <laughs> Kill me that. Okay. Uh, it's like bring me that, but murder. So we're gonna jump back <laughs> over. Capjack and Knuckles and Slice are chatting, and uh, Capjack, you get a text from Scabs uh, saying, uh, "Come over later. I might have a job for you." I text him back. Absolutely. Um, kind of a muscle job, but mostly for looks. Oi, Knuckles. I turn and look over at, um, uh, Jack. Yes. I have a job for you. Want to come meet the local, uh, chop doc? Mm, sure. Bored. Sounds good. <laughs> All right. Nice guy. Scabs. You'll like him. If he asks you to hold things, well, I hope you have a strong stomach. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, so you guys head down to see Scabs? Yeah, why not? All right. Okay. Before as before we walk out, I'll take a good sniff of the area and just take in all the scents and everything like that, so I can get familiarized with it. So like, do you think there's any role that would be particularly useful to like specifically commit that to memory, or just just noted? Just noted. Okay. Just yep. With, with a different type of people that have been living here, their scent and stuff like that, kind of, kind of creating their environment around them. It would be pretty simple to say that there are no more than five people living here. Okay. So I will do that there, and then look over at Jack. Walk to the refrigerator, grab a beer, toss him one, take another one. <laughs> Out the door we go. Yep. Uh, you guys step I'm into. I'm gonna this... set it next to uh, Slice. Uh, not if I'm off to work. Uh, <laughs> Slice just hit, grabs it like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> you want me okay. to grab you anything while I'm out? Um, nah, nah, I'm good. I'm still coasting on the last job. Uh, you'll be transported using the same uh, driverless van uh, that brought Knuckles here. Uh, it'll bring you just a few blocks over, maybe like a two, three minute drive. Uh, there's not a lot of traffic in the Undercommon, um, which is the underside of the city. Uh, real quick explanation of how that works is that New Atlantis is an artificial city that is built in the middle ocean, mostly as a giant um, PR thing. Um, but it was a collaborative effort, supposedly, between all the corporations. Um, uh, and there's still a lot of bad stuff because they tried to work together. Um, but they built it, and so it is suspended by gigantic pillars off of the ocean. So it's out of the water. Okay. Um, and then hanging down below, attached to those same pillars, is a secondary layer underneath that technically doesn't exist. And the security companies don't have a contract for that area. And so that is a massive hive of criminal enterprises where they can basically act entirely in the open. Okay. Um, which is way easier way to get into the city is to go to the undercommon first. Um, okay. So that's definitely where you would have been dropped off. And so currently everything we've done has ha happened in the undercommon, but the common, which is the, the top side of it, is totally accessible. Um, just there's laws and stuff up there. 
Um, sounds, sounds like a fun place to go play. <laughs> yeah. So you guys head over to what appears to be a, an apartment complex. Uh, and entering in the first room on the left, room marked number one, uh, has a little sign that says uh, Scabs Street Clinic. And just knock on the door. Any at this point, at this point here, I'm kind of just standing off to his right side, wait, um, uh, Jack's side, and just kind of watching him, what he does with the door and so forth, and just taking in all my surroundings. Uh, you can smell blood, a lot of it. <laughs> I put my hand, I put my hand on his shoulder before he knocks again. It's like you realize there's a lot of blood on the inside of that door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, no, no, I understand. Um, you'll, you'll, you'll see. He's uh, normal. <laughs> he opens up the door a little ways and is stopped. Like he can't open it any farther because he's got those chains that run to the door. They don't look like the stock chains. He seems to have upgraded his security. <laughs> um, they're like thick, thick metal rings, and he's got three of them running to the wall. <laughs> oh, okay. Come on in. Uh, right. stepping in you would see that this is not a normal apartment setup. he's torn up a floor and replaced it with kind of a, a plastic material it's got two medical beds set up um, there's a person on one of them a dwarf uh, not moving maybe alive maybe not um, there are a lot of freezers up against the wall you see a, a bookshelf with uh several things there's a a you know the the red cross thing the cr or the staff with the snakes and stuff it's set up like mm -hmm. up upside down as if it's like a cross um <laughs> and you see a burial urn with the hippocratic oath typed on the front of it um and he says hi there hi how you doing you see this just yeah, raggedy knuckles, knuckles. Like yes. a, it looks like a hobo put on a on a doctor's uniform. Um, he's <laughs> he's just like raggedy guy, longish beard. It's just like hi there. Reaches out his hand to, to shake yours. His hands quite now, bloody. Now is scabs human. He is human. Yes. Okay. I look down at him as Jack introduced me. I reach down and grab his hand and. Realizing humans are frill, I do not crush his hand completely, but give him a good firm shake. <laughs> All right, uh, ple pleasure to meet you. Uh, need anything? Is it we? Is this a client or anything, or just? I know you asked for some muscle. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. That's the um, guy here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Um, <laughs> wonderful. So, a uh, friend of mine has come to town. He. He owes me his life, specifically left lung, but, um... Ah. Uh, Not that guy, is that right? No, 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 no. Um, so he he's in an interesting business. He trades favors. He goes around, finds people who need something, and he helps them get it, and then they owe him one, and he lives off that. He's, he's a peculiar guy, mm. lives his life in just crazy ups and downs. You know, one week he's, you know in the Ritz suite and the next week he's on the street. Um, interesting fellow. But um, sometimes that goes wrong and he makes some enemies. Um, he wants me to grab a couple people to go over and just make sure he gets off, uh, off his ship safe. Uh, someone to receive him. Then I'll get him to the place where he's staying, and he should be fine there. He's gonna be uh, staying up with the Italians. He'll be fine. Or not the Italians, sorry, the Russians. No, oh. dang it, not the Russians, the Irish. Jeez, <laughs> my God. <laughs> Over to Balvzer, where the um the scientist guy is. Well, like similar, not as high class, but yeah. Um, they owe him a couple, so. Yeah, it, it, as soon as we can get him off, he'll be fine. So it should be a simple thing. But if anything goes wrong, you know, I want to have, like, no offense to either of you, but maybe a couple more, like the, the other couple people you have around. If you yeah, could, hold on. Just, um, yeah. One second, let me get him on. If he happens so, to um... die, do you want your lung back? 
Uh, bring me the whole thing. Okay. <laughs> so Capjack is going to call uh, Valenstar. Okay. It's a group call between the three of you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello? Hey, Star, Val, how are you? How are you? Kind of busy at the moment. What you need? Ah, uh, Scabs has a job. Wondered if you wanted to uh, help. Is this a time limit? Hey, Scabs, when's he getting off his ship? Um, like, uh, four or five hours? It's about four or five hours from now. I can make okay, time. Okay, Scabs. Stars, like, do you think we can do what we need to in that time? Yeah. Four or five hours should be enough time. Where do you want us to meet you? Hey, Scabs, how much is the pay and where are we meeting? Uh, do you want us to just all meet here first? So it's going to be all, it's all, four, all four of you people? Yeah. Okay, uh, I can spare, it'd be uh, 500 new yen for each of you. There's okay. a pay's 500. Um, let's meet at Scabs. All right. Um, see you then. And I'll end the call. Okay. All right, Zane. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, that makes me feel a lot better. Good. Um, so, uh, Troll, you, you, uh, new to town? New with this crew? Yes. Just got into the city this morning. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're with good folks. Uh, Cap Jack and his, his companions, they're, they're pretty good. They were good to me. When I hired them before, uh, me and Dolly ah, hired them. Ew. Well, no, you you carried through when the job got a lot more complicated than it was supposed to. Um, well, of course, it's a, it's a job's a job. You always carry through. Yeah. Look over at um, Cat Jack. Well, at least it's good to know that you guys are able to get stuff done. Yeah, no, it, it was pretty. Oh, this place is great. You should read the re Yelp reviews. It's very useful. <laughs> <laughs> the. Yeah, it it was pretty crazy. The, it was just a simple, like, go oh, find a guy thing. Then we got involved with, like, little military hit squad from Humanus Poly. We're not a problem anymore. Yeah. And instead <laughs> of, you know, cutting and running, which, you know, they really had the right to do that. They didn't. They stuck around. They fought him off, and, and things turned out way much for the better, as in I didn't die. Very nice. <laughs> And some good. extra bodies. It was fun. We got to kill some humanists. Oh, that was wonderful. Yeah. So yeah, if it's if if we're not all gonna oh, gather. So I'm like ninety nine percent sure Knuckles would know exactly who Humanist Poly Club is. They are a human only uh ultra racist organization. <laughs> they basically like they hate every other metahuman. Okay. Yeah. 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 Sounds good. <laughs> uh, well, so, it, uh, yeah, if you're new around here, I would suggest maybe Capjack show you around. You guys apparently have a few hours, so, you know, uh, look around. Uh, Simon's Palace is pretty nice. Uh, you could mm -hmm. go talk to Dolly if you are interested in vehicles or drones. Um, no. Got, um, look, I look down at Scabs and over at Jack. Um what about sporting events? Any good place for those things around here? Simon's Simon. Palace is good for that. And there's also um, the Irish own several good uh, sporting bars. Well, that sounds good. I'd be up for any of those if we have the time, Cap Jack. Yeah, you definitely need to get to Simon's. It's oh, it's fun. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'll, so I'll... Like you. Oh, you could have some fun there. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll see you later then. Uh, I've got to finish with this fellow. As I turn to leave and everything, I pat him on the shoulder a little harder, kind of not knock him off his feet, but let him know that he's been tapped on the shoulder as I turn for the door. Um, He's a pretty klutzy person anyway. Gosh. <laughs> yeah, no, he he falls over. <laughs> Cap Jack's going to try and catch him. Uh, okay, roll uh, your reflex. Yeah, Your he's going to kick reaction. on his uh, wired reflexes and try and catch him. Okay. He likes him. <laughs> Let's see. Reaction. Four hits. 
For, yeah, yeah, you totally get him. Yeah, he's like stumped. He's like, oh, oh thank, thank you. I was no holding problem. a scalpel. That could have been bad. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Don't want to use your whole pointed objects like that unless you're actually using them for the moment. Yeah, I get distracted. I forget what it, what's in my hands, you know? You know? <laughs> I thought it was a sandwich. It wasn't. <laughs> It was, you know, kidney, whatever. Ugh. You know, Scabs, last I checked, humans eating scalpels is not a good idea for your frail bodies. No, 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 it wasn't a, it wasn't a scalpel, it was a kidney. Big difference. Yeah, it, <laughs> it, it was worse in other ways. I did throw up, and that patient thus did not survive. Because <laughs> you know what's even more unhealthy is vomit in the chest cavity. <laughs> that's that's even worse. <laughs> Keep salt oh. around; it would help you. Okay, <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. At this point, I just turn around and walk out the door. <laughs> <laughs> that's oh. your health. That's your um. Health plan, right there. Yeah, <laughs> this I'm is our health insurance. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> yeah, don't die. Don't get hurt. hurt. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he's for. Follow the the Imperium of Man uh, philosophy of the way to keep people from being afraid of what's in front of them is put something even scarier behind them. Sounds good. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so you guys, I assume, head off. Where, where do you head off to? Simon's. Simon's? Okay. You guys head off to Simon's, and while you're doing that, uh, Valkyrie and Star, you guys headed off to go watch the school. Is that correct? Yeah. Uh, real quick. Duncan, do you have uh, the uh, RF tags? I do. Yes. Okay. Okay, so be aware. So it's car, it's car. I'll tag it. You're in the common. Openly carrying guns is technically not illegal, but uh, is is a lot more suspicious than it is in the undercommon. Um, yeah. Especially large sniper rifles. <laughs> yeah. Which I'm going to need a uh, license for. Yeah. So you guys head over there and pull up to the school. You're in just the school parking lot, regular parking area is that correct mm -hmm. okay so you can all roll visual perception if you would like okay and i want to make sure that i'm using my micro camera to get some film of this guy okay yeah uh do any of you have anything for like zooming like binoculars or something similar i have uh my eye yep that would that would be able to zoom i think uh, Star, do you? Uh, one second. I got one hit here, and uh, I... No, I do not. I just have the camera. Okay. Valkyrie, what did you get? I got seven hits on my perception. What? <laughs> do you want me to send you a picture? Cause... No, that's fine, but how many dice do you have in it? A ten. Still, that is an amazing oh, thing. Wow. It really is. Zoom, uh, enhance. <laughs> I see everything. Yeah. Okay, Jeez. yeah. So yeah, you're 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 still like in the back seat and you're just like, oh, I can see the reflection of the dude off the back window. I'm the fear of a sparrow. Yeah. It's... <laughs> yeah, I know the reflection off of the back window into the bathroom mirror and then off of that car's bumper, I see him. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, yeah, you would see a uh, balding middle-aged man in a uh, slightly worn black suit uh, that looks a tiny bit oversized for him is uh, sitting there with like a little actual pen and paper notepad writing stuff down, looking through the fence into the school. Okay. I'm going to point him out, and then I'm going to ask Star, how do we want to deal with this? I have stun rounds, too. 
<laughs> Stun rounds still make firing noises. You are within. You are within a hundred yards of a school. I, I, I don't like this guy. I was just gonna say that. I don't like, like that. If we're gonna make a move, cop on him, response time is like forty-five seconds in this area. I don't like this. We probably. Don't want to make well, let me like against um, him when we're at the school. <laughs> yeah, I, I do have a silencer on my, on my gun. <laughs> It'll make some noise, but not the, you know, the <clears throat> ear-shattering noise that it would normally make. I, I feel like in the common, there's a lot of chance, especially near school, of getting spotted. That's quite so, quite possible. Yes. <laughs> so we're gonna have to have faith that he's not just gonna run. Have faith that he doesn't have somebody already here with a gun point already at us, and have faith that he doesn't have something as well. That that's a real shadow hunter right there. <laughs> 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 So, how do we get the first strike on this? <clears throat> I mean, sure, there's a chance that somebody's already got a beat on us, but I feel like if we can wait until we at least have a better shot at him than in front of a school, he can't. He, <clears throat> I doubt he's going to sit here all day. And if he does, then we'll just have to recalculate. Uh, so I mean, you do make a point. He's not doing anything harmful, so we can wait and lay low and wait and see which car he takes and follow that if we can. Um, I'm going to look at my surroundings. Is there any place that I could hide? It, I mean, you could hide, like, under a vehicle. There's really not much. Um, another, like, mm, 50 meters out to the edge of the parking lot, there's some, like, really thick shrubs you could mm -hmm. hide in. But they're, like, pretty... Like, they're, they're manicured shrubbery, so it's hard to actually get inside them. It's more like trying to walk inside of a tree or something. Like, they're pretty dense. Even though it is just like mostly leaves, but you could okay. do that. I like hiding under um, a car better. But okay. You were gonna say something. Um, not until you guys are ready to like sit around and wait for him. As soon as you hit the the uh, stakeout portion of what you're doing. Yeah, I'm I'm ready to 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 stake him out. Are we going to stay where we are right now? Or are we going to move positions so that we can actually track him better? I, we should... At least one of us should probably stay in the car. And maybe one of us should be in a better position. So who should do what? Uh, I, I'm pretty good at uh, making myself invisible. And that's okay. <laughs> so so I, I don't I don't know how good you are at it, but not as good as you. I know that. <clears throat> then I can I can move to a better position to watch him and. All right, roll uh, infiltration <clears throat> star, and then we'll go on to the the hiding right. portion. Um, and also roll edge just to be sure that like the car or whatever you hide under doesn't like move. <laughs> okay, okay, so let's do it. What do we got? I got four hits on infiltration. Very good. That is technically four hits is a critical success, so that's that's great. Um right. I would mm -hmm. also like to I don't think being in the car is a good idea. So I'm gonna move to a different position. But she's take, but Star is taking the lead on this. Okay, uh, you'll have to roll your own in infiltration then. Mm -hmm. okay, or, and I got one or you can choose to roll etiquette to just lounge around unhidden, but just hidden in plain sight. 
other one. What was that edge? Uh, one. One. Okay, yes. The vehicle that you are under does not move. It's like a teacher's car or something. <laughs> All right. I got three hits. On infiltration? You hiding under yeah. a car as well? Okay, also roll me edge, please. Get my dice roller. Two hits. Two hits. Um, yeah, that does not move. And in fact, it is like, uh, it's actually like it's one like of the- It's like a bus. Yeah, it's a bus. And so like, there's those like little flaps hanging down around the edge. So it, like additionally obscures you. Okay. Can um, I see him from here? Yes, you can. Um, being lower to the ground, you can see like his ankles, but yes, you can. I'm gonna calm Star and say, I got those drink darts. <laughs> I can see him. <laughs> we can peg him now. <laughs> All right. So, um, <laughs> as you guys wait, uh, since round Star would know that it hits recess and he sticks around for that. And as soon as recess is over, he starts moving. Okay. Um,. Uh, uh, Star, what was your perception that you got before? Uh, one? I, had I think it was four. one. I, yeah, uh, I think I you can re-roll, one. but I'm going to let Valkyrie just coast on the awesome roll she had before. Um, so okay. your Valkyrie has eyes, can keep him as he like disappears for a second behind some, you know, wheels of a car. And then you see him again. You can track him. Okay. Two um, hits. Two hits. Yeah. So you can track him as well. What's that? I want to know how, like, how deafening is the sound of my rifle, even though it has a silencer. Uh, it's not majorly deafening, but it would be like how noticeable. It would likely be heard. It's more you're hoping that they don't think it's a gun; they just think that it's a tire popping or something. Okay. Cause... Bolt action or semi-automatic? It's bolt action. Oh, it's going to be a lot quieter right then. Yeah. Uh, quick question. When he moves towards the his car, is there any way to pick out which one he's headed towards? Uh, not yet. Not until he gets okay. there. Um... And that's what I was wondering is I want to have my rifle out under while I'm under the vehicle mm -hmm. with the RFID tag tags in. Okay. So that once I spot his car, I can tag it. All right. Uh, yeah, you would see him get up to it, and he's, like, fiddling with, like, uh, either his comlink or his keys, however he's going to open it up. You know he which one he, it is. What are you aiming for specifically? Like, what part of his vehicle are you aiming for that you can see through your kind of low vision? What are you aiming at? Um, I guess... If I can manage death. without... I don't know how damaging these things are. So if I go for behind the wheel... Uh, behind the like, wheel? Uh, not the wheel, but like one of the tires. Um, There's like a... Hmm, it, it probably won't puncture the tire because it's designed to adhere and not damage. Uh -huh. Um, There's like a 50-ish percent chance that if it hits the tire, once he starts moving, it'll be destroyed. Uh-huh. Um, but if you can manage to get to like, behind the wheel, then it'll be fine right there. Let's aim for that okay. behind one of the tires. All right. Roll a shot. Uh, I assume you take, uh, the aim action. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you can roll with the additional die and I will start rolling other people's perception. So I'm rolling... My dice pool minus or plus? Plus. Um, you know what? We're gonna have the negatives cancel out the positives from aiming. So just roll your, ro roll your shot. Five hits. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you land the shot right behind it. Like, kind of gets up in there underneath the vehicle. Um, mm -hmm. and nobody currently is going out to investigate, but it's probably not a good idea to stick around. But you yeah. landed the shot. I'm going to double check that my comp, that my comlink is tracking it. Okay, it is tracking. Uh, it is 
pinging out its location and uh as long as you have enough receivers so you can use just like a regular com link as a receiver your com link can automatically triangulate the location okay i'm gonna pack up my rifle and start trying to act normal cool there you go <laughs> yeah i'm gonna, I'm gonna do the same thing. <laughs> all right uh your your sniper rifle is a is a collapsible one though correct mm-hmm. yeah yep. so that helps I'm a lot sure of that. um and and i'm just gonna say yeah you guys get out of there um is that all you're doing for right now? You're gonna do the, uh, the more stalking on we're another gonna date? Meet up and follow this dude using the tracker. Yeah. Okay. As long as we still have time. Uh it this is more important. <laughs> uh yeah, so you see it going along, uh following every single traffic signal, um every single like it is very, very much following every single rule of the road. Um, you follow it along until you reach, or, or, or how far back are you staying? Since you don't have to be able to directly see it to track at it. At least one intersection, because we don't want to appear like like we don't want to be like right on them. Yeah. Or like maybe even like <clears throat> in the same. I'd I'd say since we have the tracking device we'd also probably not take all the same turn sometimes we just drive past and then loop back around using the tag Mm -hmm. uh you would arrive or you sorry he would arrive at a car rental company okay and then get out drop it off hand over the keys and then he would begin to walk on the sidewalk okay headed over towards a large glass corporate building. Okay. okay. He would Can enter we... through the uh, automatic double doors and he would enter into the building. Can we tell which corporation it belongs to? It is not marked. It's in the like central area, so it's not in a specific corp zone. So it's hard to tell. It could be a minor company or a subsidiary. It, it, you can't directly tell and it's not marked with like a big logo or anything. Uh, data search might work though. Um, I'll do that, uh, and I'm gonna ask Star to talk to the rental dude, see if he's a regular, which he probably is. Okay, yeah, I can do that. All right. So I'll I'll go inside Good. to talk to the guys about the rentals. All right, sweet. We're gonna give you guys a break, and we're gonna jump back over to Capjack and Knuckles who are just arriving at Simon's Palace. It is a huge, like, the outside is reminiscent of, like, the Roman Colosseum, um, but constructed out of metal and concrete. Uh, it is it, quite a quite a sight. Okay. Um, as we're walking up to it, does it appear to be, like, any open flames that would be part of a, that type of structure? Like, columns of fires or something up front as you walk uh, past it? No, not not on the outside, no. <laughs> um, stepping inside, you would find uh, that it is split into numerous sections. There's a gambling wing. Uh, there, like, just regular, like, generic casino gambling. There is pit fight area. There's a um, crazy kind of death race central circuit. Um, there is a gun sales area under in the basement and assorted like little private shops all over the place kind of like like the private shops like behind the seating area of like a baseball stadium okay well i'll sit there and look for like an open flame or something that might be kind of creating the accent of this type place reach into my coat pocket pull out a good size um, cigar walk over and take a good puff off of the fire and get the smoke going and everything and then just yeah you would see that um towards like the seating area like uh, not too close but semi towards the seating area of the race area like the race circuit there's these like neat kind of like not tiki torches but kind of tiki torches but they're like Mm -hmm. intentionally extremely um fast flame so like they're not like a slow little flame they almost look like like a butane torch like like okay. column perfect. flame yeah <laughs> it's perfect go over there and take a good puff on it because 
the cigar I've got are probably about like six inches long, almost about three quarter inches in diameter. Just take a big, get it going and everything, get the cherry blossom going good and just kind of tap it down and turn around and, um, Jack, I, I smell a fighting pit over in that area. You've, you've been that direction yet? Uh, I have some friends who go into it. Yeah. Uh, Slice, you met him back at the, uh, at the loft. He fights in there. You thinking about getting in the pit? If we got time, I might throw around. Well, don't get yourself too beat up. No, no. You still got to work later. But hey, That's... kick some ass. I might be back here after we um, transport the individual to where he needs to be, but it's maybe we can go over and see what's going on there. Maybe drop a bet or two on it. and Or if there's something better and more entertaining around here that you can suggest. So let's see, we have the death races over here, we have the, uh, like, gladiator games over there. Um, I like the gladiator games, I've done pretty well on them before. Oh, well, let's walk over in that direction and take a peek at what they offer. So you would see many different, like, small circles. So they're, they're like a giant bird cage receded into the ground. So the fighting pit is about like mm, three meters below the ground relative to the seating area to observe it. And then there's a cage that rises out of that pit over entirely trapping the, the contestants inside. Um, there's a sign up section over to the right where they ask you what rules you want to apply to your fight. So is it cyberware or no? Is it weapons or no? They never allow guns cause that's just not as fun, but they do allow like clubs and swords and stuff sometimes. Um, okay depending and also you'll get superior pay if you choose to allow the other person to break some and don't yourself so if you're like i will go up against someone with a sword with my fists or something then you'll get better pay okay um you see several fighters meandering around you see a orc fully black skin um quite scratched up just numerous scars all over him uh Come over and say hi to Capjack. Hey. Uh, your friend really got a good scrape on me last time. Is this blood? It is blood. <laughs> Isn't he tr a troll? Yes, I, I thought I said troll. Did I say orc? You oh. said orc. You I did. said orc. I meant <laughs> That's troll. That's what I was like. Uh, Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, no. I meant troll. Uh, yeah, he's a troll. Oi, hey, blood. It's good to see you. Yeah, he, um... Gotta beat you up pretty good. You two should have a rematch, though. I don't think I'm gonna go against Crumbs. No offense to him, but it's a little <clears> unfair. <throat> it's fair. I mean, he didn't well, uh, use it. You should meet Knuckles. But hi there, and he just like restyled a fist to <laughs> to you. To like knuckle bump. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I reach other and I not hard punch it but i give it a good jab uh you feel that that there there's no resistance um unless you really put some force into it he's like he he's trying to show off that he is immovable object <laughs> no Native i won't show play. <laughs> no no i'll behave myself for now yeah you see he he looks really really beat up or at least he has been many times in the past. Right now he looks fine, but like he's got all kinds of like white scars on his black skin. One of his eyes is entirely non-functional uh, and just all kinds of scars all over the place. Mm. You planning on taking a swing? Mm. It looks promising. Maybe later this evening. I'm good at fighting, but... Every time I bet, I lose real bad. Hmm. Maybe you should bet on oh. your opponent then to, to win. And when you win? Yeah, I think that that's against the rules somewhere, oh. Oh. but I don't know. Actually, that reminds me, Blood. Who you, uh, who you have for this next match? Uh, no, I just finished mine up. Some dwarf thought oh. he could take me. Yeah. He's over at Scabs now, isn't he? Yeah, I don't know if he'll make it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. I just saw him. Uh... 
<laughs> when Scabs does the whole shoulder thing, I go, mm. yep, nope, he didn't look too good either. <laughs> yeah, so, well, I have, uh, I have a good one. I'm going home. I've got enough for, for this month, so I'm going to try and not lose it. All right, good to see you, blood. Take yeah. care. And he heads off. So, yeah, you're hanging around here. There's about, like, eight pits, and currently only, like, two of them are being used. It's it's yeah, early morning. Like, it's not super active. Right. Well, walk yeah, over he's to a the nice room. guy. You two should uh, have a beer together. I was told to make friends, and it's always good to hang out with fellow trolls. And uh, welcome them. So you you see um, in one of the pits is an elf and a uh, dwarf are fighting. The elf is pulling off all kinds of just crazy acrobatic moves, um, just like twisting in multiple places. But she is grabbed. Like the dwarf has her waist in his hands and he's trying to like pin her to the ground to like hurt her to keep keep to win. But she just keeps like twisting and moving around he just can't pin her down but at the same time she has no capacity to hurt him at all she keeps like kneeing him in the face and just like not doing anything that's the one thing I hate about elves they are too slippery oh well uh, just wait till you meet the rest two of the other roommates <laughs> <laughs> I take it they're elves <laughs> <laughs> you would be correct, yeah. <laughs> They're lovely, well, though. Um, I just want tail. I don't hate them, but I hate fighting them when I have to. The best way I found to fight them is to go ahead and just try to rip an arm off and slow them down some. That probably works pretty good, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel like that works for pretty much everyone, though. Right? <laughs> Not a bad idea. No, it's even funner when you actually get to beat them with their own arm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you would see in the other uh, pit that is being occupied, there's just two orcs going in a very, very classic, like, boxing match style fight. Um, like, occasionally, like, they'll throw an elbow in or something, but it's mostly actually pretty standard combat. Like, almost, almost like it would be legal in the real world. Um <laughs> Almost. And you see a man uh, seated over on like a folding chair. The guy by the sign up sheet is a uh, human with super tall. Like it's definitely he's using some product to make his like foot long mohawk stand up. <laughs> um, it's like blonde with slight orange at the tips. Um, and he's wearing just like an undershirt and some jeans and he's just like leaning back on his folding chair just, uh, hey you, you want to fight you look interesting you, would you fight um oh. yeah not like that either yeah, yeah you too I'll, I'll, I'll pay you debt you, you too against jack here yeah yeah mm. no not <laughs> right now no nah, sorry <laughs> have to get to uh have to work later Ah, uh, well, that's it. boring. You're, you're, no. ah. It is boring, but you know, health insurance these days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, and it might get more expensive because that hooligan out there keeps uh, trying to kill all the dock wagons that show up, so. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> I hear it pays very good for some, though. Yeah, well, I mean, whatever. I mean, we got our medic over here, that guy. And you see just, like, you see an elf in some, like, kind of yellowish robes. Uh, obviously a magician of some kind, just slumped against a couch. I'm like, yeah, it, you know, he'll patch you up, mostly, um, if you get <laughs> hurt. So, like, you know, not much risk. Mm. If you win, anyway. Maybe later this evening, but just kind of new in town looking the place over trying to figure out where to place my bets at yeah yeah well i mean if you want to go crazy i got some i can uh, you know i got these two here and he, he kind of indicates with disgust at the dwarf uh and the elf because it's just it's kind of a it's interesting but it's kind of a boring fight no one's actually taking any blows <laughs> he's just like there's those two and i mean you know th those guys are all right 
if you want to throw down any bets. While those two are talking, Capjack's going to go sit by the medic. <laughs> okay. He's like, mm -hmm. oh, they have you fucking very hard, don't they? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. So where'd you get your medic experience? Um, uh, around, you know, assorted you, Cass. Oh, all right. Yeah, went a little bit south. Try that for a little while. A lot of people to, to fix up. But, I mean, you know, it's it's... It's not, it's not child's play to do, but you know, it's not as, um, crazy as actually cutting someone open and putting them back together. Oof! I hear that. I'll tell you that when I'm working with my friend, <laughs> the things I see. Oh my god, it's crazy. Yeah, I'm actually, I actually get like a little, um, like sick when I see blood. Um, that's why I'm sleeping <laughs> over here and not looking over there. I see, I see. Yeah, um, so you know scabs, right? I mean, yeah, I, I met him once. I'm actively trying to not ever meet him again. Oh, you met him like that? Well, I, I mean, no. I met him at the grocery store and he was covered in blood. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that's pretty normal for him. But he's scary, man. What? No, he's a sweetheart. He's a nice guy. I... He interned here for a day or <laughs> an hour before they kicked him out. Hi, what do you do? Well, um, I blacked out. Um, oh. But by the end of it, both contestants were dead and one of the audience members was missing a couple fingers, so I Yeah. I think I'm actually kind of impressed. <laughs> That's insane. I like it. Hmm. I'm and he like pulls out a little bottle of pills and takes him and like, oh, I'm gonna go to sleep, okay? Yeah, yeah, I'll 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 vague you if they have anything for you. Okay. He just <laughs> slumps back over. Um. So, and we're gonna uh, unless you guys, where are you guys gonna go next? I just probably find a table, sit down, and have a few drinks, and just kind of look around, just get a general feel of the place without getting too involved with it right now. How, how many drinks do you end up having over the course? Probably two or three. Okay. Uh, drop uh, five million. Okay. For total for all that, and you also get like a little appetizer or something alongside with it too. Okay. Uh, Capjack's gonna wait uh, and see if anyone needs medical attention. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see what you're trying to get key in on. He's a mage. How are you gonna learn anything? He's asleep. What do you mean learn? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Okay. <laughs> Do you, do you want to roll pickpocketing now, or? What? No, I'm just, I'm going to do the work. Oh, okay. That's in between the two things I was thinking in how bad <laughs> well, that is. Just <laughs> curious. No, I'm just curious. No, I thought you were going to, like, try and steal from him or something. I don't know. Like... No! Well, aside from his job, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right, cool. I, I've been <laughs> kind of trained-ish by scabs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, you know that the purple syringe, the one that's colored in purple crayon, it makes people bleed more. Yeah. And and that the black one makes the, their hearts stop. Blue one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the blue one makes them stop breathing for a while. Um, the red one... Yeah, we're not quite to the red one yet. Well, see, the thing is, there's the red one, and then there's just a syringe with blood in it. And those are... Oh. <laughs> Often very confused. 
Um, okay, Star and uh, Star, you guys like slightly separated. So Star, you're walking into the car rental place. The, uh, you see a human in uh, a, like it's not a businessman suit, but it, it's this very simple like lightly green vest set um, guy behind the counters. Hello, how may I help you, sir? Oh, uh, hello. So I was I was wondering, um, so how much do you charge for your cars? I, to rent one, I just... Oh, uh, we do not do, uh, single rentals. We, oh, I we must provide service. From place. So, oh, so you have, like, a lot of regulars and, and stuff. Yes, yes, we exclusively cater to, to, uh, regular commuters. Uh, for oh, the most part. Okay. So, so that that guy that that they just passed, the, he was a, a a regular then. I'm assuming. I mean, I would expect so. Um. Uh, yeah. He he probably works in the in the in the uh, office building over there. Most of our, almost, eighty uh, percent of our clients work there. So, it's, it's good odds. Oh, that's so interesting. Do you know what they do over there? Um, think of this point as when you maybe need to roll like con or something. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to fast fast talk him. A yeah. Bit. All right. Yeah. Yeah. If you can get him distracted and just like a conversation, then that's, it shouldn't be too hard to get information out of this guy. Uh, I want to re. I want to spend some magic and reroll my miss. All right. Yeah. Do that. Okay. I got three hit. Okay, and we'll see what he's got. Uh, yeah, no, you smoke him. So, um, uh, yeah, uh, they're they're uh, like an office building. Like they don't build anything there or anything. I think it's like a sort of between like call center stuff and like consulting stuff. I think, like, they talk when when they come through. They talk a lot about like you know talk to a client today or. Or whatever, or you know, this idiot said something, something. But like, I don't think they're like, I don't know, like they, they, they're kind of just assorted like office building consultants or something. Like they do house visits and meetings and stuff. Like they use the cars a lot for business trips to just like downtown and stuff. <laughs> wow. So okay, so since I'm in the wrong place, do you know where I should be? Um, oh, we have a, uh, sister branch that does do single rentals, uh, you know, on the spot rentals, uh, uh, down the street about eight-ish blocks. Yeah, eight blocks. And then on the left, left side on, um, 21st, there's a, there, there should be our, our, our sister branch right there. Uh, uh okay. star. Yeah. You should, um, if you can, try to ask for like a name or something. If you can. <laughs> I mean, that could be challenging. I feel, I, yeah, I feel like that's that's pushing it a, a, a little little bit. I don't want the fish. Um. So, okay. So I, I'm. Whatever. I'm I'm just uh right. well thank you very much and I'll I'll leave then. Yep, have a nice day. You too. Alright. Right. Um and Valkyrie, I rolled two hits. What were you doing? I was searching the building. Oh what on the, the on the on the internet, right? Yep. Okay. So on the matrix you get two hits. Um the it, the building itself doesn't have any business in there they rent out the building to numerous different uh companies so like the top like 15 floors are rented by um uh ed Myers consulting uh the next like two floors underneath that are like some small it business uh, underneath that is a, another consulting business for like three or four floors and then underneath that is a uh, a call center for like product services for 
I don't know, Tamagotchis or whatever. Um, <laughs> so no one, so none of the Big Ten actually own this building. It's owned by somebody else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's an unnamed somebody else. It's uh basically New Atlantis Public Works, but that's also corporate. But yeah, it's it's like they built it, and their business is just renting out the floor space to to smaller companies that aren't able to actually own a full building. As much as I don't like the Big Ten, it's nice to at least know who you're messing yeah. with. <laughs> I don't like this at all. <laughs> all right. I'm going to wait for Star to get back. Yep. Star would be finishing up right about now and step out. Yeah, I'll uh, relay everything I know. This is... <clears throat> He's definitely a regular. Apparently, they all are. Okay. So, what do we do now? I mean, do we just walk in? I don't think that's a good idea because we don't have a uh, name. And I'm pretty sure every other person in that building looks exactly like him. <laughs> he is pretty generic. <laughs> he is. Yeah. Really yeah. generic. Yeah, middle aged <clears throat> human. Yeah, good good luck with that. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't don't wanna rush this. But I have a plan for if we wait till tomorrow morning, I think we can possibly get him going to the rental before he goes to the school. Okay, how do we do that? My idea is to wait until if possible. Until he's getting in the car and I have this fancy smoke grenade added with neural stun. Just pop that inside the car. Okay. And uh, go from there. The problem being is how do we reach the car? How do we plant it? And how does nobody come to his aid? when it's triggered, when we're in the commons and it's being stored in a secured building. I guess how, I mean, how secure is this parking lot for this car? Because, um, I mean, we didn't just kind of walk right into the parking lot. Uh, yeah, so for the, um... For the car rental area, there's a front, like, little office... And then behind that, there's like a, like, two, three story parking garage for all of their vehicles. Okay. So it's, it's not extremely wide or tall, or sorry, it, yeah, not extremely wide uh, or deep, but it is kind of, they've stretched it vertically instead of taking up a bunch of ground space. Um, so, yeah. So, okay. from what we understand. Somebody who rents a vehicle, they basically have that key for as long as the rental. They don't change the cars that they use. They have that one in particular. Um, Star did not inquire about that. Yeah, that's what I need to know. Mm. Uh, you could very easily look at their website to get like what their sales pitch is. Okay, I can do that. Well, we both can do it. Actually. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah. you don't even need a day search. That's pretty easy. Like they want you to spot it. Um, okay. They want you to up. come to their website. So, um, yeah, you would see that they they have the option of getting the same car every time, but also a lot of people find security and be able to cycle them through. Um, and they promise a brief uh, security sweep um, for their vehicles. But based on like your understanding of spying. Uh, there's there's a chance that they are not gonna actually spot the tag that you put on there, just as far as like, um, they are. Uh, it's it's not hyper detailed. They do like a hundred cars every day, so mm -hmm. it's right. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm I guess I'm just thinking that a parking garage is is a pretty good place to hit someone. There's not a lot of 
like anybody inside the parking garage might be able to see something, but people outside would have a harder time. There's also cameras. That, that is true. Lots of cameras. <clears throat> I feel I feel like hitting this guy in the comment. We're gonna come across a lot of problems <laughs> like that. Well, if it is your kid that he's after, then why don't she just stop going to school one day? Make him come to us. Because right now, we're playing on his terms. He needs to start playing on ours. Hmm. <clears throat> I think I actually have a... That's actually a decent plan. We want him to come to us. We want him, and we want him not in the common. Mm -hmm. We may have to talk Cat Jack and Slice and loop them in. Perhaps we move her to the undercommon to the safe house there. Try to get him to come to us, as you say. I guess. I mean, I need a better plan than that, but it's a start. Well, that's why I said we should talk to Catjack and, and Slice. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so you guys had... Call? Do you guys start heading your way back to the Undercommon while, while you make the call? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and you call Slice and Capjack. Yes. Hello. Slice. Hey there. Capjack. Yeah? I mean, <clears throat> I'm gonna need, I may need your help with something. What uh, can we do for you? I need, well, one, I need to give you some information since you're staying there. Uh, this is something that I don't normally tell people, but uh, it seems we're in a bit of a trouble, trouble, and uh, I'm going to trust you with this information. I have a daughter that I've been hiding in the common in a safe house. Before you go any farther, let's do this face-to-face. -face. Yeah. Sounds like a good idea. Um... Do I really need to know all this? Uh, it may have something to do with you. I mean, I'm There's... really good at working without information. Why don't you guys figure out your plan? Like, you guys are planning people. I'll just show up, okay? Okay, okay. Slice. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, Slice. <laughs> Like, Sounds good. Yeah, all right. Um, I would say that um, I'll meet them at the loft, I guess. Yeah, yeah meet you there shortly. Okay. okay. Oi, Knuckles. Yes, Cap Jack. Uh, I have to head back to the um, to the loft. Uh, you gonna be here for a bit? Mm, I've got nothing here, so if you want company, I'll go with you, or I can wait here for you to pick me up. I'll come back for you in a little bit. Sounds good. Cool. So uh, we'll Cap just Jack accelerate that. Valkyrie, Capjack, and Star, and Slice is there, but he is like on purpose I trying to wait. Yeah. He's just la 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 la. Nope. Can't hear you. He should be on drugs then. <laughs> um. Yeah. He's he he's got his earbuds in for his Walkman and his probably on something okay <clears throat> okay one second so cap jack is going to kick on his white noise generator and his area jammer <laughs> <That works. laughs> yes a bit paranoid are we <laughs> um you mentioned something about family that's something to be very paranoid about yeah i'm not mm. faulting you for it <clears throat> yeah I suppose we should <clears throat> fill him in on everything because I don't believe. Did we tell them that we're cat yeah. that we're sisters? I didn't. Yep, I can't remember. Them. Okay, we told yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That was, that. that was surprising. Congratulations again. Yeah. You have a <laughs> yeah. daughter. We're not married. Yeah. Just no, I, no, your sister's not. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. I. 
have a daughter, and that's what had me spooked. It appears <clears throat> there's a man that's been watching her at school. Today we followed him, and he went into a corporate building. I'm going to show him a picture in the location. This building. And wait, wait. Did, what did, exactly did you just show him? <laughs> um, the building of the office. Okay. Yeah. And I want to... Uh, Do you have a picture? Yes, I have my the film from my micro camera that I want, I want to show him. Then you should show him a picture. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm going to show him the picture that I, or pictures I took of the man at the school and such. Um, as well. Capjack, please yep. roll uh, memory. Because this guy is, even though, yes, you have met this man before, he is exceedingly generic. He's so bland. <laughs> One hit. One hit. Um, looks familiar. Like, you, like, you gauge how much that, like, how much you want to run on that. Uh, I'll leave that to you, but like, familiar. I, I've seen him before. Have I seen him before? Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> well, he is very generic, so you've probably seen him on the street or something. <laughs> it's, it's possible. The thing, the thing is, is we are having trouble coming to a plan. In the background, he's going through, like, footage and stuff like that. Just of, like, recent jobs, um, things like that. Just kind roll of... Roll a data search to basically... To, to, you will find what you're looking for. Just how, just how long it's going to take. Yeah. Roll data search, please. Okay. Uh, uh, one hit. One hit. Okay. It, it'll, it'll be a little bit. I'll just let you know. You okay. Let's go. All right. Basically, we want to... We're having trouble figuring out how where to hit this guy. The common's not a good place for that. No. <laughs> so no. we want to move my daughter here <laughs> and try to lure this like guy. Like here. To the loft. Unfortunately, it's not the perfect plan, but she we need can to lure probably... this guy into the common. I could probably set up another tent uh -huh. on the roof, and she'll probably stay up there with me. That is probably what we might do. Oh. Uh, Valkyrie, your uh, little your your comlink pings you that a target is nearby. Uh, no, it doesn't. It sorry, I have the oh, jammer. You're on. right. You are right. It no, would it not. Doesn't. It would not. Okay. That's sorry, correct. you're correct. All right. Never mind. Sorry. No, no, no. That's All fine. Right. That's totally fine. It's it's. In characters, alright. Yeah. Um, oh, um, still... also, very quickly, we have another runner that has moved in. Big troll. Nice guy. Goes yeah. by Knuckles. I left him at yeah. Simon's. I figured this was a little bit personal first. Alright. So, yeah, we want to have her here because have keeping her at her schedule right now is a bit dangerous so changing it up and throwing this guy for for a loop might play in our favor and hopefully we can lure him out in the undercommon undercommons and then we can nab him so you've seen him in the in the common what makes you think he would even go to the undercommon it really depends <sighs> on how okay okay how so what does he want with your daughter? We don't know. And that's why we need to nab him. Uh, Val Valkyrie and Star, please oh. roll memory, both of you. All right. Like, if we do this and he doesn't follow us, then that no um, would be helpful to know. One hit. Uh, Valkyrie, you know that he has been to the Undercommon before because that's where he purchased the burner phone that he contacted you with. That's right. But he has been to the Undercommon before. Ah, uh, that's good. That's good. Remember the uh, strange call that I got about um about Archie? the uh, Irish about Archie. 
Yeah. Yeah, uh, that was him. And he got a burner phone from the Undercommon. So he was helping you, but is after your daughter. Yeah, this is very. This is ah, very and this is family. Oh, this is complicated. Mm. Really, mm. really sketchy. So we don't know who he's tied to, which is a problem, especially if it's Evotech. And um. Is that one of the big ten? It is. Yeah. Oh, okay. I yeah. actually didn't. They... Okay. Cool. It's like, they like to uh, mess with They're genetics. one of the more scary ones. Yeah. Ah, ew, that was very bad, yeah. So. Um. I see. Mm. Yeah. You have a very <laughs> secure setup up in the common for your daughter? It's so supposed to be secure, but also nobody's supposed to know that she has any ties to me, which is troubling. And if they know that, they might know the security. Hmm. How do you know that they know that? Well, it's a bit an odd coincidence <clears throat> if I was helped by him and then he's I'd... also stalking <laughs> my niece. It's a good point, I... yeah. No, it's a good point. <laughs> There's no such thing as coincidences. Not really. <laughs> Not when you. I was done. more wondering if you knew anything, um, to say more substantial. Like, obviously, I believe you. Um, I'm just trying to think of uh, plans of attack as well. Well, we're gonna keep her here. I'm gonna try to be here at all times, watching her if possible. Um, really, we have the home advantage if we keep her here. And that's really what we need, because right now we're fighting on his terms, and we need to change that. We can't get anywhere if we're fighting on his terms. All right, let's uh, take one break from that and jump back over to Knuckles so he can get a chance to do something. Um, you would see uh, scabs, actually, uh, in the palace walking around, uh, and he's with a female elf who is... Uh, decked out currently in this like kind of purple jumpsuit um, but the um. right leg and the left arm of it has been entirely cut off to reveal mechanical limbs in those areas um, and also she has quite a bit of cyberware like in her eyes and on her face um, and her hair is buzzed on one side and hanging over on the other side and it's like pulsing as if it's because it is fiber optic um, and so they're both wandering around there. Okay. Uh, if, if, if scabs happen to look at me, I kind of raise my beard mug at them and just kind of nod. Hey. And, then... uh, and they both actually come over and scab sits down. Hey, how, how you doing? I'm doing good. I see you don't have a scalpel in your hand this time. Yes. Yeah. I left it at home this time. Or at least not in my hand anyway. Um. And it Looks like you picked up a much better looking object than a scalpel next to you. Huh. Huh. Uh, <laughs> what would she think about that? Um. Do, <laughs> do you want to roll a charisma stat on that one? <laughs> Please? Sure. Uh, what charisma stat do you want to roll of the ones that you have? Let me. <laughs> I see you, Cap Jack. Charisma. <laughs> All I have is. Intimidation. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. So why don't you just roll your, your flat, just whatever your charisma is. All righty. So my charisma, whoop, let's see. Uh, common skill, my charisma is, yeah, I think I have, it says one slash four, so. One, <gasps> yeah, you have one, one. yeah. All well, right. One, one so... D6, let's see what this is. <laughs> All righty, a six. There you go. Yeah, you got a hit. Nice. nice. Very nice. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. So she um, doesn't seem to have gotten what you said. <laughs> like, she's, she's just like, hmm, and what was that? <laughs> <laughs> just raise an eyebrow and look at her. You have not heard of a compliment before? Oh, yeah. I, let me... 
Oh, I see what you said. Okay, yes, that's nice. I just look over at Scabs. <laughs> and just point at her and kind of go. <laughs> yeah, no, she's a she's a friend of mine. She's you know she's she's her. She's Dolly. You know. Not one of your cases, I hope. Oh no, 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 no. She, this is all all her. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, interesting. I just kind of look over at Dolly again and just kind of give her a, a good look over to make sure I take in what she's what yeah. she is. She's yeah. The look of it. If you want to roll intuition, you can, but just uh, you don't have to if you don't want to. The she she is focused on the machine parts of her. Like those are dressed up and obvious. There's lights running across them. Like you're supposed to look at those parts. The rest she's covering up. Okay, I'll, I'll roll a one intuition. A w- one is that one die as well? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, five got one hit. Yeah, all right. Um, yeah, she's, uh, she seems just a little bit absent-minded. Like she, she's, um, not stupid, but she's not picking up one hundred percent on all the social cues of, like, yeah, you gave out a comment. She's just like, oh, yeah, I picked up something nice. Did he buy a new car or something? Or, like... <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Well, I won't, I won't waste any more time with her. Obviously, she's somewhere else right now mentally. <laughs> uh, yeah, the races are starting, and she's looking that way. Okay. Um, the, the death races? Yep. Okay. Um, when I catch her attention over the death races... You got any favors over there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I like Screaming Sarah's monster truck. Um, There's also uh, the Rattle Bones. Their rig is extremely unique. It's just so cool. I love it. The, the, it's, it's got six flamethrowers coming out the sides. Like, it's just so cool. Um, And then it's got this, like, so, circular, so manly. <laughs> circular disc launcher out the back. It's so cool. Yeah. Well, why don't you and um, Scabs accompany me over there and let's place a little bet on one of your favorite ones. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, if you want to bet on who to win, you want Screaming Sarah. She's she's definitely a, a good contender as long as she doesn't get distracted. Does she get distracted easily? Oh, uh, it's a coin toss. If she focuses on winning, she wins, but she usually gets distracted and starts just trying to run people over. That could be entertaining in itself. It's yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, okay. Yeah, well, uh, yeah. I get up. And, I'll put, I get up and start. She, I get up and start heading in that direction and see if they go with me. Yep, they go with you. Um, and she lays down fifty new yen on screaming Sarah. Okay, who's the number two? Best uh, the number two is uh, Double Cadaver, which is a motorcycle crew. Um, where they're on one motorcycle, one guy driving, one guy looking backwards, uh, doing the the gunning and protecting. Okay, yep. Yep. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna bet on them, hoping that um, what's her name's get distracted enough, and I'll drop twenty five on the duel. All right, yeah. Uh, let's roll a couple bits of dice. Um, yeah, and then let's roll Screaming Sarah's willpower. Yeah, no, so. Um, she starts, the, <laughs> she starts it like, yeah, I'm going to win. And then almost immediately just like stops her car stops dead as everyone else rushes forward ahead of her. And you see her just gunning the engine, revving it up, just waiting. And as soon as the last person in last place passes her, she starts booking it and she's making good time. She immediately starts taking places back, but is focusing on like crushing the smaller vehicles that she can, like knocking them into the sides or into each other as she goes and they begin to fire guns and uh, projectiles and stuff at her to pretty much no effect whatsoever. Um, You see that the double cadaver is watching her and is taking advantage of her, and they're actually like using her as a way to hide from everyone else. Um, And they're like, yeah, they're constantly like hiding behind the other bigger rigs, uh, dodging, like they can just go underneath her vehicle with ease. Um, okay. cause they're on a motorcycle. She's on this giant monster truck. Um, so th- yeah, they, they end up pulling out a win. Uh, and you, you will get back, uh, uh, yeah, you'll just get back straight double winnings. Okay. 
So I bet 25, get 50 back. Yep. Okay. Um, I offered to buy Scabs and um, Dolly a drink. Yes, absolutely. I will take a ginger ale. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Scab says, can... "Yeah, I'll, I'll take uh, I'll take whatever the regular canned stuff is." Okay, I buy him buy Dolly her um, ginger ale, and then I find that that stuff that tr- only trolls like. <laughs> okay. <one> stab. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, I'm gonna roll for him. He's not gonna like you. Uh, apparently, he's made of tougher stuff. Um. Yeah, Good man. and he's... You've seen his apartment! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he drinks his... That's why I think he can handle it. <sighs> you almost think you see, like, a bit of smoke come out. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Uh, you want another one? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. I, I have to walk today. <laughs> not necessary but i understand and i finished mine down in a good drink yeah uh so that'll be uh another five million for the whole okay. whole deal uh by the way that stuff is hurlg what you just bought <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah it's in the so there's two versions of it there's the commercial version that you gave him which is tough stuff and then there's the authentic stuff um which actually deals damage to you it deals stun damage when you drink it and is like it doesn't the books don't tell me what it does but it just says only trolls and dwarves can drink this stuff it doesn't tell me what happens when someone else drinks it but it says that it that the only those are supposed to drink it so it's pretty interesting i have to get my hand on get my hands on some of that stuff yeah the commercial one yeah yeah so right now what you had was just like the commercial stuff it was like in a can yeah. or a bottle or something so it's okay. not gonna deal damage to you but yeah okay um, then i will take my winnings enjoy myself and wait to see when cap jack comes back and be prepared for that run this evening all right and cap jack and valkyrie and star you guys just about wrapping up yeah. uh cap jack you do pull up the picture that you took um, and holding them side oh. by side, um, they look. I mean, again, pretty generic dude, but ninety nine percent sure. Yeah, sure, this is him. Pretty sure we stalked him this morning. Oh, what? That's just great. That's Mister P. He's a business okay. partner now. What do you mean? We are a building together. You're in a club. You Me, Click, Slicer. Bought? Yeah. He's the other partner. He's the other, well, he's a minority partner, but this is a problem. Uh, it is. Because that means he knows a lot more than he should. Great. I don't like this. <clears throat> well, uh, at I'm least loving it if you care. <laughs> if you <laughs> care, I'm having a blast. <laughs> that is, in fact, very good. <laughs> That means that you can call a meeting for this business, ask him to come there personally, and then we can give him the beat down. I do have some questions for him. Yeah, that's a great idea. I uh, call my business partner. Um, I tell There's him I've him. There's a jammer on. Yeah. No, 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 no. This is him talking. Okay, got it. Okay. I'm like, huh? no, no, that's a great idea. Yeah, I call my business partner. I tell him I want to meet. Uh, we meet up, and suddenly two people that he knows are related are uh, associated with me. Jump him. Yeah, this is a te- this is a great idea. So I can't go po- poorly at all. This is a terrible idea. <laughs> hey, then what do you suggest? It's better than trying to kidnap him in the common. It really is. Yeah, but we you know he comes down door. here now. Yeah. This becomes far easier. Um, one of the best things we can do is find out when he comes to the, co- the undercommon. How do we do that? He's very much invisible. He's really hard to track. Um, well, he works for Ares. He does? Yeah, this, uh, 
this outfit he wears, it's it's Ares. No, 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 no. That is Ares, but that does not mean he works for Ares. You see, Do you it know is... he does not? No. Here's where we start. Let's find out everything we can about him. Why don't we call uh, Blinky? <sighs> Hammer down, one. won't wake up! <laughs> Snore in the corner. Okay. <laughs> right. I'll ask Blinky. <laughs> but I like the idea of you calling a meeting, because then at least we have a foot in the door. Hello? Well, Can't... not yet. No, you can't call him. Sorry. <clears throat> Um, yeah, no. Okay. I'm, I'm uh, saying that having so, the meeting is our best option. So, are you guys okay with me, like, pushing you guys along a tiny bit? So this, you know, you can finish this conversation a bit yeah. farther along? All right, um, cool. Because we got a couple we things we've got to get right now, going. Else this will be another but, downtime episode. <laughs> uh, but we have, to, we have a job we have to go do. So let's do that and then finish this. Okay. 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 Um, we need to get back to the Coliseum and meet up with uh, Knuckles. And you get to meet Knuckles. It'll be fun. Um, so He shuts off his stuff. As you shut that stuff down, uh, Vakary, you notice you have a pending um, marker from the, the assassination app. It says that there is a target within 100 meters of you. Okay, do I get a picture or anything? It's a just picture of a man in a like leather jacket with cut off gloves and uh black jeans, uh with a set of uh binoculars in his hands. Okay. How far uh, away is he? Hundred meters it says um from you generally south. Okay. I was Tell them to go on ahead of me. I got something I need to take care of. And All right. Um, the roof. They'll meet you at uh, Scabs then. Roll perception, uh, Valkyrie, and you guys head off to go get Knuckles. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Uh, so, Valkyrie, you rolled? Mm, I got two hits, but. Uh, you you spot it. You see the guy. You see him. He's currently holding those binoculars. It looks like that picture might not have been taken very long ago. Um, okay. And he actually. What, what is he looking at? You. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Let me guess. Mr. P sent him. So I'm gonna wave. Uh, he is looking at you, but doesn't appear to be concerned that you can see him. He's, he's like sitting at a bench, just looking at you. And then after just a little bit, gets up and heads out. Unless you do something. How much money is this guy worth? Uh, 250. Quite, quite a good one. Uh, he's probably tied to all of this. Um, I can't easily put a tracker on somebody. No, not on a person. That's pretty yeah, difficult. No. Um, <sighs> we're meeting at Scabs, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I got this. I'm gonna use my taser rounds. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, fire. All well, right. Roll it for me. <clears throat> uh, oh, yeah. Okay. I gotta get my weapon. There. All right. Five hits. Yeah, you got him. Uh, you hit him, and he like convulses a bit and then hits the ground okay i'm going to Kitty. um <laughs> i guess get there as fast as i can okay and what are you call gonna the italian uber okay uh comes and picks you up and you head off to scabs all right i'm just gonna jump over to capjack 
Knuckles and Star as they meet up again. Or meet. Um, uh, Scabs and Dolly are with Knuckles. They probably went back to a table now that the race is over. Uh, and you guys walk in. Uh, Captain Star, hi there. Hi, Scabs. You're here. Hi, Scabs. Yeah, yeah. Hello, Dolly. Lovely to see you. Yeah, hi. <laughs> uh, Knuckles, meet Star. Star, this is Knuckles. He just moved in. I look uh, over. At, I look <clears throat> over at Stars. What do I see? Uh, you see an elf uh, with silvery tattoos on half of her face, uh, long silver hair, uh, cat eyes. A pretty average height. Oh, and uh, I believe I have fang implants as well. Okay. Yeah, uh, she's... Uh, if you notice her move around, she's very graceful. Very cat-like. Vigorous <laughs> <laughs> and elf. Um, I nod, nod to you. <laughs> nod to you respectfully. <laughs> like, Knuckles. Pleasure Scott. to meet you. Hmm. It'll be good to have a troll. We might need the muscle. Hmm. Okay, well, yeah, if... we're going to need him for this uh, next mission. Um, Where, where's so. where's the other one? Uh, she had something to handle. Okay, well, let's head back to my shop. Let's let's get moving along, if yeah, yeah, yeah. if you don't mind. All right, set my bottle down and get up and follow Scabs out. I thought that drink was actually kind of good. I might work myself up to another one someday <laughs> someday when you do i will buy it for you oh yeah i might take you up on that yeah um and so let's just fast forward to uh Valkyrie got there before everyone else so you are standing outside the door to scabs's clinic with an unconscious person mm-hmm. when everyone yep. else shows up mm-hmm what, five minutes? Uh, Dolly gets dropped off of her at uh, at her at her shop. So it's uh, the three of you and Scabs walk in to see Valkyrie there with an unconscious person next to Scabs' door. What, five, six minutes maybe? What is this? He was watching me. Oh, well, that makes sense. Well, let me just unlock the door, I guess. I take it you don't like people looking at you? Problem is, he was a target. <laughs> there was a hit on him, and he was pretty close, and turns out he was watching something on the post. I get up there to um, see what I can see, and it turns out I'm the person he's watching. And with this whole Mr. P stuff, it's too much a coincidence. I don't like this. Scabs... I need you to do your thing. <laughs> I, do, I need to know who he is I, and uh, what he wants. All right. <laughs> I don't like doing that so, m- I don't... so many times. Uh. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Who right. Uh, Knuckles, this Hi. is Valkyrie. Valkyrie, this is Knuckles. He just moved in. Hi. Uh, I uh, reach down, grab the body by the shoulders or whatever clothing he is, throw him over my shoulder, walk in, find the nearest bed, pl- flat surface, and just kind of ungracefully just drop him down on it <laughs> that's appreciated thank you all right nurse um get get the orange one <laughs> okay scabs all right please roll your medical skill yep and that's so uh i want to just just fast pass this because i don't like to get into two detail hits. two hits <laughs> very nice uh, that's good because Scabs rolled uh, kind of crappy for him. Um, oh, no. He got quite a few hits. It's just for him. Um, uh-huh. So state your questions. Um, you have essentially unlimited questions that he'll answer just based on how uh, deep, uh, how many rolls or hits we got, how like how secretive he will be, and what answers okay. he just will not give. So. So, who hired you? What do you want? Do you know Mr. P? Okay, what at a time. <laughs> who hired you? Uh, no one. Okay. W- weren't hired. 
What do you want? Was looking. Why? We are watching. Why are you watching me? Not you specifically. Okay. Oh, who is V? Us. <laughs> <laughs> who are you targeting? Um the ones who killed uh the other one us oh, oh, oh. No. hold it hold oh, it hold it everybody everybody take a step back take a breath here <laughs> i am so so sorry can we start here <laughs> i guess yeah okay uh let 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 him up can we have a conversation like like regular meta humans question. yeah one more question do you know Mr. P? I've heard of him. Kind of a like boogeyman sort of thing. Like people reference him to make themselves sound scary sometimes, but most of the time people are like, who? Okay. Mm. Right. right. Let's I'm good. Can can we have a brief moment to start over here real quick, please? Okay. Okay, mm. I'm I am so sorry. I'm Cap Jack. I'm sure you already knew that, of course. Yeah. I'm going to guess if you're watching us. Yeah. Uh, who are you? I'm a member of the Black Mask. I am so, so sorry to hear what happened to your friend. It's not like that. Exactly. Okay, so what did uh, happen? Family sort of thing. I, right now, I understand. I'm, right now, since I'm, I'm clue, clueless on what's going on, I pull out another cigarette, light it up, and just lean against the wall and just watch with amusement. Uh, Scabs <laughs> pulls out a cigarette. Like, could you get me here too? <laughs> I'm sorry, say that again. He is like, could you get me here too? And holds out a, a cigarette. I light it for him. Right. Um. You'll have to forgive me and us. Uh, we have absolutely no idea what happened. Look, like, we know, like, they, you know, the brother in charge knows that you guys didn't really mean to. Like, you fired a gun into a, into a room full of targets, right? Like, yes. And so it's not your fault. That one of us was hidden amongst the crowd. Mm. They know that, but it's the rules. We gotta do this. And what does that I include? Mean, we don't have to do this. This is what I'm trying to get at. Runs go poorly. We both know this. We've been running for... I, I'm assuming you've been running for years as well, correct? We have, yeah. Okay, yeah, I have as well. Um, this is not even my first continent doing it on. So, runs go poorly. People die, it happens. It's awful when it happens. I know that. And I am very sorry for your friend or family who got caught in the crossfire. Yeah. I would like us to have a way of making this right without further bloodshed. That's tough, but I mean, the the rules say that they got to learn their lesson. So, I mean, that's... How were we supposed to know? You're not. Like, it's the idea... I mean, it's, I, it's a bit why? fanciful, but the idea is that eventually enough people get bit that eventually the black mask means something and people don't mess okay i can respect that um i can absolutely respect that having a name is very important and look i am assuming people know that this run did not go so well for you 
Uh, yeah, well, we're trying to just pull our name out of it if we can at this point. We can help with that. That's not hard. Again, I have been doing this many years. The thing is, is we, the last thing... we can't break the rules. Like, I mean, you know the whole, like, there's no loyalty between criminals or no, no, whatever, whatever the, the trust between Honor criminals. Honor among thieves. Yeah. yeah. Well, like, we've got that problem really, 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 really bad if any of the rules get broke. We have to follow all the rules. Okay. Okay. Then let's Just... talk about the rules and see how we can work with you. Like, I, I really mean this. I would love to work with you on this. Okay. It's gotta hurt. Like, it is the idea. And so it's either gotta be, like, physically, like, normally the idea is we kill them. But it's either gotta hurt physically or monetarily or, or like, take wreck your car or something like they gotta it's gotta look to them to us and to you know onlookers that you got burned okay so the most important thing is that your name carries weight correct and that we you know, the rest of us think that you regret it, even if you don't. Like, I don't care that much. But I mean, like... I truly do. I truly do regret if the Nazarana got hurt in this. I truly do have great regret for that. You don't deserve that. You weren't part of those bastard racists. I don't want you hurt. It's <clears throat> terrible. Again. Yeah. Um. I truly do regret this. I mean, what do you have I've... in mind? Because, I mean, it's going to be hard to pitch anything alternative, but uh, I'll try. I already lost my wings. <laughs> Got nothing else to lose. We all have something we can lose, and let us not do that if at all possible. Um, I'm thinking. I look down at Scabs. Scabs, how good are you with um, repairing broke bones, arms, legs, and stuff like that? Todd's play. Mm. Well, I can help you guys by breaking a few arms, legs, and stuff like that. Kind of put you up for a day or two. Scabs put you back. The black mask has to do it. I mean, I could... I could hire uh, you to do it. Hey, I'd be happy to do it. After the job? Oh, of course. We have a job to do tonight. Um, you know what? I will take this one. I respect you as a fellow runner. I will take this pain for you. I truly do not wish there to be the bad blood between us. Okay. I. It's going to be rough, but I'll, I'll pitch that to him. I'll, I'll get him, get him off. And... We'll set something up. I'll I'll pay you to beat up him, and and then I'll take footage, and I'm sure they'll have somebody watching on a rooftop as well, and and we can get this behind us. Yeah, and uh, after all is said and done, I would love to have a sit down with uh, with whoever is your boss and work on making this not happen again in the future. Is yeah. this fair? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. And he, Simple solution to a complex problem. That's the way to do things. He steps out. So he leaves. Yep, oh, he this leaves. is going to suck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sca you Scab says, to... you want some anesthetic? No, you, you got to make it look real. They and would under... know. Yeah. I have a feeling they would know. Okay, all right. No, what I will do is I'm going to record it, though. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is going to be terrible. Oh, I can't fade, actually. Hmm. I just kind of give you a strange look and just kind of lift an eyebrow at you. He records hmm. BTLs. Ah, interesting. 
<laughs> so yeah, will be good to uh, patch me up after uh, scabs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get you. Thank you. Um. And whatever money he pays me, we'll just use that to fix you up, and I'll take the rest. Thank you. I truly appreciate that. All right. So the job. So yeah. right. Going down, to the, for it. going down to the docks. You're gonna meet my friend. He's this guy, and he pulls out a, a picture. It's a a dwarf. Uh, in at the time the picture was taken, in like a brown suit, um, kind of a scruff looking guy. A couple scars, but it's, it kind of cleans up nicely. Um. Be seeing this guy. Uh, he might be disguised, might not. I don't know. Um, kind of eccentric fellow, but good, good guy. Uh, be meeting him. He'll be looking for you. Um, meet him. Bring him back here, and then from there, I got you. Just, just bring him here. Uh, the Irish are gonna meet you here. So, nice and simple. Um, so yeah, cover yourselves. Be careful. Um, I'd really rather no fight, and I don't necessarily expect one, but I know, you know, the undercommon, you can never count on anything, and then this guy, you can never count on anything, so that goes double. Okay. So, get them back here. Um, we're probably not going to want to use the vans again. Remember what happened last time. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know that, uh, <laughs> uh Dolly has a couple armored vehicles on rent. Uh, you know what? I'll give her a call. I'll tell her to get you something. I'll pay for it. Oh, thank okay. you. Yeah, me. Paul's eyes calm link. Yeah, Dolly. You need a favor. While he's doing that, I'm going to call Slice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm Unless, actually, actually uh, uh, Knuckles, do you are you good at driving at all, by chance? Mm, not really. I'm going to call Slice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, while he's doing that, I'm going to call Blinky. Okay, uh, let's do Slice first. Uh, hello. Can I tell that he is just <laughs> out of it? He is completely baked. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> are you in any shape to drive by chance? Um... This was a weird batch. Oh. Um, do you, are you okay? Let me check. Up. I think I'll be fine, but you taste very sour. <laughs> Noted. Um, get some rest. Yeah. Okay. Hang back up. Oh, dear God. <laughs> <laughs> what was he on? Uh, okay, Valkyrie. Blinky says, hello. Yes. Um, hi. So I got some more information about our anonymous caller. Mm-hmm. Uh, turns out his name is Mr. P. Okay, Here's that's useful. Photo. I'm going to put that on the file. Yep. So anything that you got would be helpful at this point. Uh, it's really hard to pin down what actions are this entities and what are not like there's a lot of, you know there's always a lot of shady figures moving around so it's hard to tell but it looks like this entity is tracking a crew that i can confirm is not you guys okay um but is a crew that was involved in your last job is it the black mask uh maybe there were several crews that like entered and didn't really do much so that's possible but he's like tracking them like trying to keep them from doing something yeah it's the black mask then probably because they don't like us right now okay um yeah he seems to be holding something at bay else. yeah if you find out anything else let us know. Be yeah, great. Tell, tell Star that I'm digging, um, but this is going to go beyond like just a little favor. I'm going to... I'll send you a bill at the end of this, but I'm I'm digging. This is a deep rabbit hole. It is. It really is. Okay. Um. Oh, did we not tell you? Uh, the guy and our anonymous color are the, are the same person. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was putting that together. Um, those are the same... I'm, 
Yeah, okay. Do you have any other info, info for me? Any known uh, he's a part -time associates? Owner. He's a part-time owner of Cap Jack's um, club. What's it called? What, what was it called? Cap Jack? We actually didn't set a name for it. Uh, it's called The Den. Oh, The Den. Oh, right. right. It's, uh, it's a den. BTL den. I think it's just called the den. No, it's just a den. Yep. Okay. I, I see the paperwork. Den, yeah. I mean, you know, mega quotation marks paperwork. Um. <laughs> okay. I've got. Uh. Yeah. That might help. Who is and this guy? We really don't know, and it's starting to scare us. He he's connected to all of you in some way or another. That's creepy. I'm. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm going to make sure that I'm not being tracked in any way. This is scary now. <laughs> I'll, I'll talk to you later. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, poor Blinky. <laughs> now, this conversation that just happened, did um, it go over closed mic in the ears or was it an open mic uh, that was visible? Uh, yeah, was that with your uh, sub vocal? Yeah. Yeah, so that was entirely... Uh, you didn't hear either side of that Except call. Before I asked okay. Cap Jack, what's the yeah. name of your call? <laughs> yeah, so that would have happened as you guys walk out to head over to Dolly's. Okay. Um, I have a upgrade called um, hearing enhancement. Would that have allowed me to hear any of it? Uh, roll auditory perception. Okay. We so can we can see. Because it's it's tough-ish to listen in on sublocal, but not impossible. Okay. I only get two dice in that, so three to one. Okay, no, nope, not this time. Okay. Um. Oh wait, no. Your hearing enhancement will give you one more dice, one more die for that okay. for that roll. So give that a shot. Just roll that one by itself. Okay. Um. Five. Okay, that's a hit. That's good. So that uh, yeah, you. You get the basic, um, both from hearing and from other senses, the basic um, mood of Valkyrie during that okay. call. You don't get words, but you get the basic mood of her throughout that entire thing. Okay. Um, and you guys yep. now arrive at Dolly, unless you have anything else you want to do. Yeah? Mm -hmm. yep. Okay, so Dolly is there. She's got a uh, Humvee there that's painted like bright yellow. Um, you see the entire thing has like this thick layer of looks like glass or something like a thick, clear plastic coating the entire thing outside of the paint, um, excluding the windows. Um, oh, this is lovely, Dolly. What is that? Smart wow. armor. <laughs> How's it work? Fancy. Uh, well, it's it can, works like regular armor, except way more discreet. You know, it's not just a metal plate welded on your bumper, but uh, or on your hood. But it's also, if uh, if you're attacked by a explosive projectile, it will propel out small beads that will destroy the explosive before it arrives. That's brilliant. I like it. Yeah, it's pretty nice stuff. Yeah. So Impressed. it's yours for the evening. You pay for significant scratches okay of course you know gotcha. anything you know little little stuff that's fine but you know significant scratches you pay for um but you can count on it in any one-on-one -on -one collisions you can count on it winning that collision um it's not some miracle inside if you're in a collision but it'll it'll come out driving okay all right cool have a good evening. Thank you. How, how accommodating is this for a troll? Uh, it's actually pretty good. It's a Humvee. It's like this pretty bulky okay. vehicle. You're not going in the front seat, but in the back seat, there's plenty of room. Okay. You're, you're taking up two of the seats, but that's fine. I'm going to take a deep sigh of regret, of regret. Like, if I have my wings, this would be different. <laughs> All right, I, could, um, I could follow you in the sky. So who's driving? <laughs> and who's who's? Okay, you're driving. Uh, who's taking the passenger seat? 
I One of the elves. I will. <laughs> okay, and then Star. Um, I would prefer to have uh, Valkyrie if you want to be able to pop up the turret in case we need to shoot. That's probably the best bet for you. So there's right? no mounted probably. weapon, but there is a hatch to do so. Okay. So you can pop up with your. So you're Good in point. back, um, and Star is in the passenger seat. All right, you guys. Uh, mm. Drive there. There's no issue on the way there. Any stops or anything you want to do? Nope. No. All right. Cool. Um, really quick to the loft to grab his armor. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Put on your armor. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, and then you roll up. Uh, you see, uh, stepping off the dock is so you guys are parked about hundred meters away from the dock. Uh, because there's many different docks and you don't know which one he's arriving at. Mm -hmm. um, so you're in the most convenient location you can find, I imagine, closest to all of them, but you know, not okay. specifically committed to any direction. When we pull up, I'm going to try to implement my skill in shadowing stock stakeouts and reverse engineer the situation and try to see if there's anybody that's staking out this to try to pick somebody off of the boats. You nice. should roll that, and everyone else who wants to can roll perception. That would be great. Okay. Specifically so visual it. perception for everyone else. Okay. A bunch of. I rolled four and got two hits out of it. Wonderful. Uh, two hits is, is pretty good. Um, five hits from Valkyrie. Five oh, hits. my God. I also have combat tactics ambush that I can roll. Roll that, please. Yes. Capjack got three. Star got how many? One? one all right on the perception and then one on okay so just from your like knowledge knuckles um this place seems a tiny bit iffy mm -hmm. now it could be because this is a criminal enterprise but it feels like there should be more boats around or more dock workers or something like it's a bit too like quiet. empty it's a bit too quiet yeah. uh and your tactics role valkyrie gives you the same impression um and then uh Valkyrie and Capjack, you both notice that there is there are a couple like you cannot 100 percent confirm the silhouette of a metahuman or you know human. Uh but there's just a couple spots that look like maybe there's people hunched up on some of the buildings off behind the uh like away from the dock. And there Can might I be a vehicle my it might just be parked, but it mm, feels a bit suspicious with the tinted windows off nearby. Can I use my scope to look closer? You at which? At the shady spot that we've noticed. Yep, where the you'd have to. You'd have to step out because you can't like unbuild your rifle inside, not with well, the troll I next to you. Out from yeah. the top. Okay, got it. Okay. If you're just question. using your scope, you wouldn't even have to pop out. Oh, that's that true. You can pull out the true. scope. Yeah, and look through the windows. And I got a quick question here. Yes. With the trolls having thermographic vision. Um, yes. Oh, so let does Capjack. He me, has that built in. Let me take a look and see what equipment may be being used by these people that may or may not exist. Um. Uh, so you got a three. Knuckles, roll me a, a visual perception test. Uh, as well. Um, Capjack, you see... What you got? No hits, just no three. Hits. Okay, Capjack, you see um, several heat signatures up on the um, rooftops. Those one, those lumps that you saw before. Knuckles, you see, Knuckles, you see them as well. But to you, you're pretty sure that those are like right on a on a like vent or something, like a dryer vent thing or 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 a chimney or something. So it's just normal heat. Um, but okay. Capjack, so you, you have targets up above. You see a bit of a silhouette top. of a like arm sticking out or something. Okay, I'm gonna look at the silhouettes too. Um, Capjack notified me of them, so I'm gonna. Yeah, you saw look. them before. You're aware that like. Because he's confirmed that's a person, but you don't see any additional, like, it's a suspicious amorphous shape up there. You don't pick out, like, arms or head or anything. You just, but you you are aware of their location. Okay. 
Uh, how close are we to neighboring buildings? Um, there are neighboring buildings away from the waterfront about um, probably 300 meters. Okay. Uh, would that take us would that take me closer to them or further away from these suspicious blobs? Those blobs are on top of on the rooftops of those buildings. Um, I'm gonna ask the group what they want to do. Uh, first thing Capjack wants to do is listen, uh, using his uh, earbuds to see if he can hear anything, like okay. comm chatter or. I can so reach them. What What do you? Is that another perception. Yeah, or... auditory okay. perception. So you're just listening for stuff you can hear. Yes. Okay, just on audible spectrum or. Yeah. Uh, well, he has the earbuds, so it. Um... Well, here's a select sound filter. What can I do with that? That can control the freak. Uh, that can cancel out types of sounds. So it's like cancel out the crowd when you're talking to each other or something. He's only going to be listening for vocals. Okay. Uh, yeah, roll that. Okay. And get plus two dice for your selected target. But it means that if you're if you would have heard something outside that target, you can't hear it. Got it. Two hits. Okay. Um. You can hear over, so you guys are set up near the docks. Behind you are those buildings with at least two people, maybe three. Off to the left, just outside the dock area, is a suspicious vehicle. And you hear some voices of at least two people off to the right a bit of way. Okay. Um, you can't hear specific words, but definitely a hushed conversation. And I think we have two more and like pointing below the uh, window line. So if somebody's looking in the windows, they would be able to see it pointing in that the, direction. These windows are tinted. Okay. So they can't see. Yeah. It. So gesturing in that direction still. Hmm. Yep. Okay. Okay. Now when we're looking at the docks, we're, how many places were, could a boat show up at? One, two? Uh, there are 10 dock slots, but all of them are currently empty. Okay. The other thing we can do is, as we see the boat pull up, prepare a snatch and grab. As soon as we see the dwarf come off, drive up, throw him in the back, and get out of here. That's probably their plan, though. Well, With supporting fire. From what I hear Dolly said, this here should be able to handle any impact of a car. There's a deep water <clears throat> there. We can drive them off in the water if need be. The problem I... is, is, how do we guarantee that we get to him first? I got a thermal smoke grenade that we can use for cover. That's good, yeah. Yeah, what do we have as far as equipment we can use here? Uh, everyone, uh, please roll edge. This is to... So, yeah, roll based on whatever your, your edge is um, and tell me two hits. Very nice. I got one hit. One hit? One hit. Okay, that is sufficient hits. The... Boat will arrive whenever you guys are entirely completed with any preparations you want to do. Okay. okay. The other All right, thing... so we're going to go shopping. No, just <laughs> <laughs> um, and I see that you like to carry yourself a sniper rifle there, I take it, Valkyrie? Yes. Mm, as we start going forward, how about pop your head out and fire at the ones on the roof behind, just make them duck some. I was thinking about it. I just... Okay. If need be, I'll I'll stand up there and hold the hatch up so you can give you some protection around it as you shoot up that way. Yeah, the hatch opens backwards, so you would potentially, if you if it was held open or held and didn't let itself flop against the roof of the vehicle, you could have a little bit of cover. Okay, and they are behind us. You said correct. Can I? And I've already spotted them. Correct. Spotted at can least I... two, and you suspect that there's a third unseen one as well. And I can't get a clear visual on them? No. You guys have exhausted, as far as I'm aware, you've exhausted all method of trying to identify him, but you have a suspicion that there's probably three. But um, I can shoot them from here, so the... what makes it... What? Uh, like you identify the exact location of two of them and just there are too many just good hiding spots and you just 
your gut says that there's more, but you don't you don't see it. <clears throat> you don't okay. see any more than two. Um, Knuckles, you had a question. Um, yes, uh, I'm sitting in the back seat. Is how much of a cargo space is behind us? Is there any room back there? Or yeah, there's sufficient room for for like, uh, I don't know, like two, uh, like fifty gallon or like five hundred gallon drums or something back there. Like there's space. Because um, the other question is: Is the window in the back um, slide up and down, or does it open up like a slide window, left to right? It is. It's like the back door of a jeep, so you could open like the top half of it and close the top half of it uh, if you wanted, independently of the bottom half. It's like the the back, the bottom half is like solid metal, and the top half is a window. Okay. Or the other thing you can do is sit in the back behind the seat with using the back of the seat as a brace and use the tailgate as a mount for your rifle and shoot from there. That's a very good idea. Correct. Mm. Yeah. Um, we're in the undercommon still, right? Correct. Yeah. You oh, are yeah. in the undercommon, yes. So I will take off my silencer. Okay. The bigger the boom, the bigger the scare. Yeah. So you can set up your, if you want to, you don't have to reveal yourself yet, but once you are going mm-hmm. to fire, you can open the window just small amount so that your barrel can stick out and the rest of it, the window is going to be down because you can see through it from the inside and fire with just your barrel sticking out. So there is extremely minimal chance that they can shoot you. Okay. I'll start setting up then. As long as you either like tape it for, cause normally it's automatically, once it's opened, it wants to automatically open up. So, uh, as long as you like hold it down, <clears throat> someone holds it, or you tape it, or bungee cord it, or something to keep it from opening. What the window on the back? Or? Yeah, the window on the back. It's gonna want to open as soon as it's popped open at all. Um, just like a like very light hydraulic, or it's gonna want to open it up. So you're gonna, someone's gonna, or something is gonna have to hold it closed. Um, I got it, a plastic restraint, so I can. <laughs> yep. Use there you go. I was thinking the same thing. I was going put a couple of restraints mm-hmm. together so they can fall out go for so it. far. Yep. Yeah, go for yeah. it. Yeah. So yeah, you've got okay. uh you've got uh basically two plastic uh a, a set of plastic handcuffs and yeah, so it only opens up just a tiny bit. You can set out your barrel up at a sufficient angle to be able to get it, but you don't have to reveal your position yet. It's closed. It's just going to as soon as you open it, it's going to pop open. You can stick your barrel out and fire. I'm just going to wait. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, since I am on the passenger side opposite of the driver, I am going to make sure the door behind the driver is locked so it doesn't come open. When you pull up, make sure I am on the side we grab from, and I will simply throw the dwarf in, and the door should keep prevent him from falling out. It's good. Let's see. Okay, so is there any chance that I can get out and blend in, get into a position to just drop this thermal grenade and then walk away? It's a smoke grenade? There, yeah, the smoke grenade. We we could drop it out of the window at the same time as the shooting. Would, how badly would that obscure my aim? It would be in front of you. Instead of, like, if you guys are inside the smoke, it would obscure your aim. But the idea is it's going to be, like, at the point when you're no longer shooting because the truck is going to be moving very fast and bumping around. Okay. I believe. Yeah. Is that correct? This is plan, yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I can turn on my jammer and make it so that they won't be able to communicate. What's the range of it? That is a great question. What is the rating of it? Four. Four. Okay. Um, yeah, I believe. So it's a portable jammer, I assume. Or uh, jammer. Bigger one. Comma area. Okay, so that's those ones are slightly heavier. So that's like it's like carrying a ham radio around, like a bit bulky. Um, okay. So it's probably something you don't have in your pocket all the time, but I'm sure you brought it for this. Um, yes, noted for the future. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the range. Oh, uh, what is the what is the excuse me? What is the source for that piece of equipment? So I'll look it up so I can know the range on it. Is SR four it... page three twenty nine. Three twenty nine. Da 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 da. Uh, 
Jammer. Uh, is spherical. Its rating is reduced by one for every five meters from the center. Oh, so okay. that means its range is at most like 25 feet. Or Don't. 25 meters, meters. Excuse me. Which they're definitely not in, I'm guessing. No, not no. at all. No. Okay, cool. All right, so that's probably useless. All right, cool. Noted. Mm -hmm. So if they do tag us, they'll help with that. Yep. Yep. Yes, if you had it on, um, it would prevent any RFIDs that they shot you with from working. That'll happen then. <laughs> However, it does cancel all communications other than vocal between the all of you. Mm -hmm. Be aware. And no one can call you. Got it. So, uh, are you all ready? Because the boat is essentially going to wait till you're so ready. If because you they do shoot it with with RFIDs, and then I do jammers. Will it kill it then? It will kill it then. The idea is that it will okay, constantly cool. be broadcasting. Well, there's multiple different types, but it will constantly be broadcasting. And so, the idea is if you turned it on like at the last minute once you got home, they would already have been able to track you to home. All they know yeah. is where it currently is, and then probably have a backup history of everywhere it's been. Got it. Okay. So they don't know where it is if it's being jammed, uh, but they do know where it was when it last was active. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, He's not going to be doing it yet. Okay. But I will have times when it's going to get used. Yes. All right. So boat showing up. Uh, yeah, yeah, if you're all ready, you guys wait for a couple more minutes after all your plans are done, and you see do the bolt pulling Do we have any other things we can do? Um, the only thing I do is I pull my pistol out and set it on the, um, sheet ne um, the seat next to me. <laughs> all right. Uh, you see a speedboat pulling up, um, moving quite at a click until it gets right near the uh, dock, pulls in, spins sideways, uh, so it looks like they're doing this very quickly. Very quickly, yep. All right, in that case, going to gun it to get in position. All right, so everyone so, knows it's it's showtime. Does Valkyrie pop open to take a shot? Yep. Okay. I'll start. Roll an attack. Here we go. Uh, this is regular ammunition, to, yep. and you're shooting to kill? Um, yes. I, if I can, but All right, if yep. not... To scare. Yeah, no, it'll scare him either way, but yeah. Yeah. Seven hits. <laughs> yeah, I know that hits. <laughs> Let's roll. Uh, does it have any armor penetration because it's a sniper rifle? Uh, minus four. My minus four? Holy crap. Yeah, that's. That, that punches through a ghillie suit pretty good. Um, and they rolled all twos and ones. Um, not a crit glitch, but all twos and ones. So yeah, that you see a little um, watermelon burst of red <laughs> over there, and the figure kind of gets a little bit smaller, like just kind of down a bit. Um, uh -huh. you can't confirm if you've killed the person or not, but they're not moving. They're not shooting, which sure. is different from you see two. I mean, I don't have enough dice to roll the armor for this vehicle, but, <laughs> um, you see two little pings appear on the glass. One about a bit to the right of where your head is and one like right around where your chin would be if the bullets went actually through, but they just bounce off the armor of the window. Okay. Where uh, did those come from? Uh, one of them you can confirm is the uh, the one up above that you already knew. The other one is going to... So he's covering himself. So if you roll visual perception, you can try and track him, but... Uh, he's got a flash muzzler, and uh, so it's it's pretty hard to distinguish. Which one can I um, is easier for me to shoot? You can just shoot the guy you already know where he's at. Like you you know okay. where he's at. You can I, just I'm shoot, shoot him. him then. The third shoot you him. have confirmed there is a third shooter, but you still don't know where he is unless you can track literally the the extremely muted muzzle flash of his of his rifle. I'll just go for the guy that okay. I know. Do so. 
Um, okay. And at this point, you're, this is probably your last shot you're going to get before the vehicle starts moving. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm rolling. Four hits. Four hits. Not likely that he dodges. He does not. So roll his crappy armor. Uh, he got one hit on that, which reduces it from dead to slightly less, but dead. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, uh, that's that. And then the vehicle starts m- pulling forward. This is a driving maneuver to like kind of slide up sideways to do a quick getting it cool. thing. So could you please roll me your driving skill? I'm going to spend some edge on this one. <laughs> As okay. He's doing that, I want to toss out that thermal smoke grenade okay, as well. Do so. Uh, do you want to roll a thrown weapon, or do you want to have someone else throw it? There, are, I know there are some people around who might be good at three hits. Very nice. <clears throat> awesome. That edge was useful. <laughs> I do have a, a couple dice in thrown weapons. Not much, but I can do it. All right. Roll it. It's going to work hit. either way. One hit. Okay, so yeah, you don't like just drop it and it goes under the wheel. Um, so yeah, you, you chuck it forward and now it is Knuckles' turn to jump out. Uh... What do you want to roll? What do you think is appropriate to roll to get out there quick, grab the guy, and and all that? Mm. Oh, what was that skill I had? Um, my running skills try to jump out of the car while it's moving and be yes. able to run. Absolutely, that is that is quite appropriate. Okay, where'd that skill go? It is right. I think it's a strength one. Is it strength? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Um, will I be able to use my urban advantage to it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. All right. Six hits. Ha! Nice. Very nice. Cool. Yeah. So you carry the football. Get out. <laughs> you see, um, all of you, uh, except Valkyrie, because she's aimed at the wrong direction. Um, I'm see busy. the vehicle around the corner that you guys spotted begin to pull out, and uh, one of the back windows is open and begins to fire. Um, but they did not expect you, that large of a person, to be moving that fast. So the bullets <laughs> land all behind you or impact off the windshield. Okay. Um, Capjack, you do see, like, a couple little pings on the windshield right in front of you. Um, and you grab the guy, I guess, roll your just flat strength to pick this guy up and have it not impede your running. Okay. And um, when I go to, when I go to grab him, I'm basically said scabbers sent me. Okay. Scab sent you. Got it. Got it. I got four hits. All right. Four hits. I'm going to have him roll. Um, he backs away. How, how many rolls did you get? Just so I can have that in mind. I had nine rolls and got four hits. Very nice. Okay, so I got that in mind. He's backing away, though. He He's... This is not processing in his head, and he's going, oh, scary. <laughs> um, I will reach out and try to just basically just, manhandle him then. All right. Uh, yeah, uh, he'll, he'll try and push away from you, but... Um, you want me to uh, give you a string no, or a jump? No, not necessary. He rolled three ones. And that way he rolled three dice. He and tripped be- and fainted. Ooh. And because I heard the gunshots go off earlier, I actually kind of pillow, grab him like a pillow up against my chest and everything and use my body to protect him from any shots coming from behind as I push him into the um, Humvee head first. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, yeah, so you've got that. You've got that. Um let me just roll the random spray of bullets now. All right, roll body um, plus your ballistic armor. Roll okay. those combined. Okay, so I've got a five body and then five there, so ten dice. Four hits. 
yeah, you you feel some little like ricochet shots bouncing off your back, but you're okay. fine. Okay. Uh, and yeah, you jump in, slam the door closed, I assume. Oh, most definitely, and hit it, Cap Jack. Time to go. All right, as Cap Jack is flooring it, welcome to New Atlantis. Uh, Valkyrie, what's up? Can I shoot the tires of the incoming vehicle? Uh, they're not behind you yet. Um, but yes, as you guys pull out onto the road to get moving, the other vehicle begins to pursue, and you can uh, take a shot at that. Um, yeah, roll. Uh, you're at a okay. minus two because uh, you guys are going, I assume, at max speed. I guess if Capjack wants to drive calmly and normal, you can, you can not have a negative. We're not driving Miss Daisy. <laughs> um, All right, so that's a minus two. Time right then. To switch to explosive. Uh, you will lose some time, but like, as far as you're aware, this might be a long chase. So. Okay, let's let's two do hits. it then. Got it. Uh, minus two, you said. Correct. Um. Let's edge that. Preemptively? Seven hits. Seven hits. Um, that That is technically three hits above a crit. They get to roll driving to try and avoid it, but at a major disadvantage because it's really hard to dodge bullets. So that's a total... They minus off one of your hits, so you still get six. So the bullet goes down into the tire, ricochets off the ground, and goes... So it... So the tire is like this, and the road is underneath it, and it is suspended off the ground by the air inside the tire. So it goes down through the tire, underneath the metal of the tire, and ricochets up again through the back of the same tire. <laughs> then ricochets off the bottom of the vehicle, and then hits the other back tire. Oh, <laughs> boots! <laughs> The entire vehicle, like, one tire, maybe you can recover. Both tires on the same side, it instantly just goes <laughs> right into an <laughs> oncoming commuter. <laughs> nice. oh, so now the traffic shows up when the chase starts. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not super busy, but, like, immediately just veering off into the other lane. Yeah, just, <laughs> they're, they are stopped. They're not going anywhere. Uh, question. Yes. Would wired reflexes help at all in this situation? It increases your reaction, which is the governing skill for driving. Mm, I thought body is. I believe no, so. Uh, it, it should be reaction. It should be reaction. Yeah, it's reaction. It's body on mine. What? Why uh, is it body? That makes you, no are you, sense. Are you looking at diving? <laughs> 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 Yeah, because wouldn't you be doing uh, pilot ground vehicle <laughs> or ground? Yeah, craft? it's ground vehicle. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's all right. So I've been rolling really well with way less dice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so where is it? How do in, I? In reaction, there's pilot, pilot ground vehicle. Pilot ground vehicle. This makes way more sense now. <laughs> <laughs> you just been like manhandling the steering wheel <laughs> that way. <laughs> wow, that, that's an orc for you. Thinking a ground vehicle's a submarine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's you're working. Like a, a tank. You're just like <laughs> just turn the wheels. <laughs> All right. All right. Cool. Uh, in that case, because that's gonna give me another two. <laughs> <laughs> cool all right yeah no we're doing great now <laughs> wonderful um yeah uh they're not able to follow you a couple more shots ricochet uh off the vehicle um but you and guys before we make it or... any more turns he's gonna kick the jammer on okay uh and then you take your turns uh why don't you roll uh shadowing because that is what you use to lose a... Um... There's tail evasion. Oh, tailing. sorry, tail evasion. Yeah, there's a skill, just tail evasion, isn't there? 
or yes, and I believe but it, or... that is under shadowing. Okay, it is under shadowing. Yeah. So you can roll shadowing, and what I'm going to say is anyone in the vehicle can give you advice by rolling shadowing, and if they roll uh, three hits or more, they can give you one hit. Okay, got two hits. I've got shadow of two, so there's no way I can. I got that two one. hits. Okay, um, between everyone, I'll give you one hit. Okay. So one one free hit. Um, actually, that's not okay. the way I like to do it. I forgot I did it wrong. What I like to do is when people assist you, they roll dice, and then for every hit, they give you additional dice to roll. Oh, okay. So but, how many more did I just but, get? No, that's that's. Um, have you rolled yet? I did, but. Um. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. Uh, why don't Why don't Knuckles? Why don't you roll your shadowing? And so, okay. uh, currently it's four. Okay. Let's see about this here. Nope. No hits. Nope. Okay. You get four more dice to roll. <laughs> Two hits. Two hits. Okay. So, uh, well, I'll do the same thing. All right. Cool. <laughs> so what's the total? Uh, two. Two. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, I roll those four separately. Yes. Hold on. Um. What was your so original we're, roll? We're just at two. Okay, it was just... one and one, so we're two. Okay. All right, good. You, you two. <laughs> uh, are not aware of being followed. Cool. And you pull him in. And the dwarf begins to kind of sputter out his words. Please don't kill me. Bob, we're not going to kill you if we had to save you. Yes, Scab yes, Center. I... As I pick my pistol up off the um, seat between us, you're not going to die today. You get to visit an old friend. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, okay. Um, and then the resounding sound. Uh, no, wait, I got a revolver. Never mind. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, excuse. Uh, you have my briefcase? But... Did, I, did he have it on him when I threw him in? Not that you could see. Okay. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Do you hear anything about briefcase? Oh. <clears throat> oh, okay. Do you need us to go back for it? And he looks through the back window? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, do you have any idea who that who those people were? Um couple ideas. Um, okay. but yeah, a couple ideas. <laughs> Not any specifically useful ones, I don't think. Uh, right. Not anyone who themselves could mobilize. Whoever didn't like me hired someone to do that. Okay. Mm. Um, but yes, let's get into safety, please. Where are we going? Who are like? Yeah. Listen, we're going to Scabs. Okay, but. His house is not safe. Like, it's okay, but it's... Oh, the Irish are waiting there. there. Yeah, yeah. When am I meeting the Irish? I'm re- I want to meet them as oh, soon the as meeting possible. You. Oh, the meeting is there. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 Thank you. Once we get there, you're fine. Okay. Yes. And then he just thinks about that and just starts nervously looking out the window. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we'll be there in... How long is it going to be? Ah, like 10 minutes. I've got like 10 minutes. Okay, I'm going to, you know what? I'm just going to to be um down here and he hides so that he's not in view of the window. Even though they're tinted, he's idea. just like down there hiding. He's good. I- I'll be under the seat if I can fit. <laughs> As he goes down and everything, I just kind of put my hand on his shoulder and just start patting him like, it will be okay. <laughs> uh... You arrive at Scab's uh, street clinic. Okay. And you see um, that there are two black SUVs set up there and a black limousine in between them with several elves lounging around. Okay. Do any of them look familiar? Um, not individually familiar, but if you want to roll gangs... Uh, or syndicates, yeah. you can try and recognize who they are affiliated with. I got Underworld. With. Underworld works? Cool. Just want to be sure we're in the right place. Uh, no hits, though. No hits. Um, 
before I came to New Atlantis, I have area knowledge of New Atlantis. Would that allow me to? Yes, maybe? you can roll that. Yeah, yeah. I think okay. uh, at least in the undercom, that's quite applicable to to who these people are. Yeah. It says I've got three. No hits. Uh well, <laughs> there are a lot of elves and some fancy cars. I'm pretty elves sure they're Irish. <laughs> pretty sure they're Irish. Most of the elves are Irish. Or the other way around, anyway. Most el- uh, most oh, Irish yeah. are elves. Most Irish All are right. elves, yeah. Now he's going to turn off the jammer to see if there's any pending calls or anything. Okay. Uh, nope. Okay, cool. I had to think about that. I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, no. Um, the collective elves begin to kind of straighten up, and a couple of them draw some, like, sidearms but are not like actively aiming them at anyone they're just got them on hand okay. okay when i guess when we pull up and we step out i'll step out and have the dwarf come out with me and i will try kind of act like a meat shield between any of the tall buildings until we either get them inside or in another vehicle uh hi there you're gonna have him meet his friend before he goes with us or are we headed straight to the apartment uh, I'd I'd like to see Scabs uh, at least just just a moment I guess before we go. Um, if if you don't mind. Before the elves have anything to respond or anything, I just take the dwarf, turn his shoulders, and start kind of escorting him up the staircases to Scabs. <laughs> All right, wonderful. So yeah, you bring him up to Scabs. Um, Scabs, hello. Uh, while they're doing that. Yep. Star. Uh, Val, if you can head out. I'm okay. going to take this back to Dolly. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, I'll get out. And wait. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'll uh, get out, too. Yep. Uh, you take it over to Dolly, and she yep. has you get out. Wanted to she... very briefly make sure it was a... Uh, that was a very quick blip on the radar. Yep. <laughs> she pulls out... Uh, she, she pulls out an RFID scanner. Like, All right, let's get started. <laughs> it, you see she's kind of like baby talking to it she's like oh who scratched <laughs> you up oh you mind if i uh, leave this with you for now and get back over there yeah take care of it perfect thank you she's gonna run back over oh <laughs> uh, and while we're waiting on the sidewalk can i call my the dark elf friend that i made at simon's yes you can um I'm going to roll because she's a busy person. Uh, no, but she has time. She takes the call. Hello? Hi, it's uh, Star. I wanted to drop you some information that I've come across real quick. Yeah? I've got word that there is some corporate entities... Uh, operating in Simon's territory that you might want to keep an eye out. He calls himself Mr. P. Okay. I will I will take a look into that. What's the name again? Mr. P? Like the letter? Yes, as far as I know. Okay. Alright. Noted. Uh, I'll let you know if anything comes of it. Alright. You have a nice night. All right. And uh, Knuckles, you uh, see the uh, two give each other a hug. And uh, you notice a couple small kind of knickknacks. Like, it's hard to spot what they are pass between them. They just, like, swap a couple items (laughs) real quick. I don't mind. Uh, basically, when I got into the room and the dwarf went in front of me, I put my door, t- my back to the door, pull out a cigar, light it up, and sit there and smoke and let them have their conversation. Uh, they they begin to speak to each other um, in uh, what was it? Uh, uh, they in actually you would like pick up little bits of it anyway. They're speaking in a language that is not native to native to either of them, which is Orsmer. Um, okay. which is the, the, uh, language of orcs and of like, it's the language that was made up 
um, by orcs. I think it is based in some like old language that was tied to the orcs, but it's it's the orc pure language that half the orcs in the world don't know. Um, <laughs> it, yeah. Yeah, most, most orcs actually don't put in the effort to know it unless they're like one of those kind of like orc supremacy, like, you know, fight for, for you know, take over the world sort of people. Um, yeah. And they're the people that give most orcs a bad name. Um, okay. But well, I'm kind of... I'm indifferent to what they're really talking about unless something really stands out in the conversation and I could care less what they're trading between the two of them. I sit there and just make sure the door doesn't open and just enjoy my cigar. Yeah, m more notable is the language they're speaking rather than what they're saying. Is okay. that, That's a peculiar thing for a dwarf and, an, and a human to communicate through. Um, eclectic, at least. Um, and when they're done, he says, uh, Thank you. What's, what's your name? Me? I'm called Knuckles. You're, uh... You're a professional. You, you, uh... You carry yourself the right way. Mm. I do what I have to to get by. I'll, I'll remember your name. You, uh... And he, he pulls out... Looks like... If you've ever seen those cheap, like, buy them at the dollar store raffle tickets... <laughs> Like okay. <laughs> they that you like buy when you're giving you know doing a raffle, they give you you know just a roll of like a thousand of them. He mm -hmm. pulls one out and gives it to you. Hang I on to it. it. Look, slide it inside my jacket where my cigars stay. And he heads out, joins the Irish elves out there, and is taken in the limousine mm -hmm. off to wherever he's going. Okay. Yep. And Scab says. Uh, just about as Capcheck runs up. Uh, <laughs> how often do you go jogging? <laughs> um, he actually has points in running. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> so you're not just like totally winded. Mostly sprinting, but uh, well, his specialization is sprinting, and it's just what a block. Yeah, it's like three blocks or something. Actually, no, yeah, about and it. he had his move by wire or his uh, wire reflexes on, so he was hustling. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, now so he'll you, shut them off. Uh, you, you come in. Uh, uh, Scav says, all right, well, you all did very good. Um, based on the looks of it, though, um, and what uh, he was saying, a little bit of a scrape? Yeah, just a little. Give me, give me the relevant details. What, what happened? Uh, there was a team waiting in place. Uh-huh. Um, Couple on the roof, couple in an alley. Uh, there's a vehicle. Yeah, it wrecked. <laughs> vehicle yeah. shot by Valkyrie. Uh, wrecked that. Did they take any casualties? Probably did. Yeah. Okay. Probably. All right. Yeah, you didn't confirm on that's fine, but you you shot at him, hit, right? Yep. Okay. They shot at you. Ivana too. Yes. Oh yeah. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, I, I turn and kind of show them the back of my jacket with a few shots that I took. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, the Yes, so I promised, what's 500 to each of you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Uh, 500 new yen to each of you for payout for the job. And then Second. I will be giving you... Uh, uh, I will be giving you each a, in spirit of my friends being around, a favor in the shop. Any hmm. thumbs back towards towards the clinic. Thank um, you very much. And so, uh, Knuckles, as in the contacts section, you can add uh, scabs uh, okay. as a contact with loyalty one and connections one. Now, okay. he he mentioned something about his uh, briefcase. Yeah. And uh, so he's uh, not the most, I mean, I'm sure you saw, he's not the most, uh, he doesn't keep his head in a fight, right? Yeah. He's not a, he's not a, a front line sort of person. Um, and so he lost it. Not your fault. His fault. He knows it. 
Um, and it's all right, because he's willing to pay you to go get it. Ah. <laughs> and That's so really am insane. I. You get paid oh. twice, uh, collectively. Uh, that, that briefcase uh, on its own is worth 5,000 New Yen. It's extremely important to me. It's potentially can upgrade this, again, indicating back to his clinic, to something a bit more. I, okay. I am I'm extremely interested in, in moving myself out of street clinic into something a bit more high caliber. Hmm. So yes, that What's item that? is crucial. All right. Well, we'll have to figure out where the little fella dropped his briefcase and go now, get it. I, so far, have gotten the impression from those I've worked with, and, and uh, he speaks highly of you, uh, Knuckles, of your uh, um, good head under pressure. But mm. this is going to require me to trust you this item as you might expect you know i'm going to pay a good chunk of money for you to retrieve it is valuable mm -hmm. there's some amount of professionalism and trust that goes on with an item like this okay mm -hmm. of course it's not but pretend it's like a block of gold or something it's expensive i'm being upfront with that and i'm trusting you to be professional sell it behind your back yeah, once we once we get the item, it's it's yours, no matter what. I understand. Well, it's, as we is, already know, we've kind of already for, dis subscribed to your um, services. So when yes. we help you, you help us. Absolutely, no yes. Point dabbing you in the back. Yeah, I like fucking with you. I'm just saying, they don't always make the runners like they used to. And uh, right, the new ones, they will have the problem. They will try and settle it with violence. Oh, wait, we saw this earlier tonight. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, we should probably do that sooner rather than later. Oh, the more time that goes by, the more likely someone else is going to pick it up. That is true. All right. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah, so... We need to find the leads. Um, that's job number one. Wanna... Um, all right. I guess I'll call the uh, mafia Uber. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be waiting for you guys outside. Okay. Yep. And you, you all are brought back. Um, so a thing that uh, I like to do, because this, this is the end of it, so I'm going to give you guys one last like conclusion conversation. But first, I'm going to give you guys karma, which is the form of experience for Shadowrun. Instead of leveling up, you just get bits of karma, and you can spend that karma to upgrade your stuff just as you go. Um, or you can hoard it and save up for something special later on. Um, okay. Karma comes out very slow. Um so you get one point of karma for not dying. <laughs> That's good. Yep. Uh, you will get a second point of karma for completing a mission. For, for successful job. Good job. Yay. Um, and I, I like to keep people mostly even. Um, so I will find excuses to do so. So uh, Capjack, Valkyrie... And Star will get one point of karma for following leads. And okay. Knuckles will get a point of karma for uh, introducing himself to the city. You, you, you did a lot of walking around, making sure you get a basic lay of the land of, of who people are and stuff. And in fact, uh, I, I, I will give you that karma as long as you uh, follow up with that in you know before the night is over and maybe just try and make sure you get an idea of who the extremely important players are um by chatting up with with the uh with the crew okay 
Um, and then I think that's it. Because this t tonight wasn't an extremely dangerous one. You guys prepared especially well and uh, and rode in with the right gear and the right people. So uh, you guys all return to the loft and can have one uh, signing off chat before you go to bed. Um, you see Slice on the floor. Um, he's breathing and uh, is... Ed no. Is hugging a bucket. <laughs> now, yeah, question. Capjack's going to check on him. Before we get back to the place, um, what, Slice is the one that had the drinks on the bottom shelf, right? Correct. Yeah, he's what the guy with he, the robot arm. Yeah. What was he drinking? Uh, he what was it? He was drinking Hurlg. That's what his bottom shelf is. Okay. Well, I will pick up a small, I guess, four, five, four or six pack of it for him. Six. Six. Yep. And uh, uh, that, that would be 10 new yen. Okay. And I'll bring it in and kind of set it down next to him. Oh. Thank you, Angel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll sit there and just pat him on the back of the sh um, shoulder blade right behind the neck. Not Angel's. Open up another one. Here, drink it. It might help everything go away. Okay, yeah. And, and he will. <laughs> And I'll just leave those there and go go grab one. Ladies, cat, y'all want a drink? Hell oh, yeah. That's the place we need to be. Oh, wait, no. I need to reach out to Zet. How the hell are we supposed to so, reach out to Zet? Uh, I'm, Black I'm, Mask. I'm going to say we'll do that next session so you guys can just yeah. chat, okay. hang out. That'll happen, happen later. Um, hey, we... <laughs> actually... Actually, let me put it this way. It's better when you get there, you find a Walkman tape duct taped to the front door. <sighs> uh, this style? All right, I'm going to take it. Slice, can I borrow the Walkman? It's the same people again. <laughs> it's the scary people. And he just, like, reaches inside the couch cushions. Like, <laughs> there. <laughs> Thank you. He's He's gonna been, listen to it. Pretty bad. Uh, so it says, uh, "Meet me underneath the chandelier. Midnight tomorrow night." Cryptid. Woo. That's exactly what it says. Yep, that's exactly what it says Perfect. and how it's said. Yeah, that's what I needed to know. It did not say come alone. Good. It, no, it did not say come alone. Uh, actually, no. Yeah, it has like a P.S. Make sure to bring the troll. <laughs> ah, right. <laughs> be important. All right. Uh, we have a meeting tomorrow night at midnight. I'm going to get the absolute shit kicked out of me, and it's going to suck. <sighs> Do you think we could squeeze in the meeting before then? The no, no, actually, no, it's okay. We can actually use our entries. That's a fantastic that. idea! I, Knuckles just kind of look at each other. What meeting are you talking about? Uh, oh, a scary uh, person supposed to... just being a scary person. Hmm. Uh, speaking we of have which, some we need to go... From before you joined us that we are uh, tying up. <laughs> Do you need any help finish tying knots in the loose end? We're working on it. We'll let you know. <laughs> you might be perfect for that, actually. You're <laughs> a new player. Um, yeah, actually. I think this could work out quite well. Hmm. Well, I'm new to the town. You guys took me in. If you need a running mate, I will be happy to join you on any future runs. Fantastic! So, uh... Welcome to New Atlantis. <laughs> yes, welcome. It's everything it's cracked up to be. So. Oh, just wait till you go to the bars. Oh. That, we'll take care of that very soon. The fighting pits looked really well, and I need to get to know that place a little bit better. So, we went to the loft instead of looking for the briefcase? Uh, yeah, no, no, no. That, that's, that's, a, that's a task for another day. You can, I mean... If you want, you can go by the the have gone by the dock, but the dock 
has been totally cleaned. You, it's obvious that they hired a professional cleaner to pick up bullet casings and clean up the blood. Like this whole place is scrubbed. Great. Okay. Okay. This house is cleansed. Then I'd look <laughs> at. I turn to Star and ask, "Do we want to go pick up our friend? What are we doing with that?" <clears throat> We probably should. Do we want to bring extra muscle? Mm. I mean, we should be fine. Okay. Why would... I wouldn't think that the... I wouldn't think that he'd be tipped off. That that's what we're doing just yet. Okay. I'll trust you. I mean, if you really think so, we can bring Capjack, but... <clears throat> All right. During this conversation, <laughs> I just kind of look indifferent, at, like I'm not offended by any of the conversation, or... I, I really like the way that Knuckles responds to people talking <laughs> around him. He's just like, hmm, okay. <laughs> um, actually, you hear a knock at the door, uh, a familiar, polite knock. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, go over the door. <laughs> yeah, I know is, who it is. It is Michael. Michael. Yep, it is Michael. Yes. Yay. And since I'm unfamiliar with the people that come in and out, my hand just kind of rests real slightly on the inside of my jacket until I get confirmation that this is a safe individual. I'm going to pat him on the shoulder and say, don't worry, he's the boss. He, he's a good kid. Yeah, and like, Capjack is com like, he's like, oh, Michael, how are you? Uh, okay. Doing I'm very guessing good. you've come to meet uh, Zenura. The new uh, tenant? Yeah, yeah. I, I uh, unfortunately had business in the morning uh, and uh, actually been quite busy recently. Um, but yes, I wanted to come see you, sir. Uh, what I do, what do I call you? I turn around, stand up, and look at him. Says, you can call me Knuckles. Pleasure. So Are you, you see I... a uh, slightly younger human male uh, wearing... Uh, Italian mafia clothes, like very obviously high-ranking member. Uh, says this is uh, this is my place, and uh, I'm very happy to have you here. Well, I want to tell you thank you for helping me out and getting me here and away from where I was. Yes, I am. Um, I've been speaking to uh, Scabs and uh, uh, a few uh, other individuals, not um, in a dangerous way. You know, uh, I keep the details out of it, but uh, I'm hearing very good things from about you and about uh, about all of you. You're all doing quite well, making a a name for yourself, but also keeping it as clean as possible. Very appreciated. I'm I'm very intrigued on how you will do, how you will act next. So you, uh, messes are complicated. I don't like complicated too often. There always are. Yeah. Oh my gosh, t t you you do not know. Uh, I've spent all day today negotiating. We're trading territory with another syndicate. It's it's a pain. Oh boy. Yeah, you know there's, ah! there's you know a block or two, you know, including some some bakery or something that they want that we don't particularly need, and they've got another set of businesses that they win a trade so we're going to trade territory but oh my gosh the details so yeah on the posturing because you have to do that oh yeah I'm gonna i can imagine it's a nightmare the as they're talking <laughs> yeah um yes any any questions uh any questions before i leave uh None for me. no all right um Take care of each other. Watch, watch each other's back. I'll, I'll be around. Thank you, Michael. Yeah. So, okay. unless anyone has anything pressing, uh, that'll be the end of the session. Okay. Perfect. All right. Okay, Wonderful. Uh, real quick, everyone, who are you? Uh, and what do you do? What, what, what else can we see you in? Because I'm, well, I'm pretty sure people want to see other stuff that's involved with you guys. What do you guys do? Let's start with uh, Capjack. 
Hey there, everybody. I am Capjack. I have been playing Capjack. I am Cap. <laughs> I am at Captain J Cross on Twitter, <laughs> and, and uh, one of the mods of the Welcome to the Party channel. So I am here, of course, in the Thursday night Shadowrun game. Opposite this uh, Thursday night game, there is a fifth edition Pokemon game, uh, where I played the Poke Taker, who loves to kick Pokemon and take names. Uh, I am also in a short um, shot campaign that is being run on Sunday evenings at 8.30 here again on Welcome to the Party. Uh, it is a pirate game set in the Dungeon World universe. And um, every second, fourth, and fifth Tuesday, I am in the Mimic Knights game run by Shogun here, uh, where I play Lucian, the Tiefling Warlock. So come through, see all the different games that are on here. If you want to join, hit up the Discord. The link is down below for that. Uh, if you want to play in this game itself, you are welcome to join. It's a drop-in, drop-out kind of game, so show up for as much or as little of it as you would like. We'd love to have you. Yeah. Uh, Silverstorm. Okay. Are you? Um, I am the wife of the GM. <laughs> oh. Um. And I am mostly just a player here and welcome to the party. You can find me on the Discord. Um, I play an assortment of games. Um, right now, there's spots opening in the one game I'm on that I'm in on Wednesdays. And we need uh, more players because our other players are, has life catching up to them. Oh, so no. if you want to... Uh, be be my partner in uh, hunting down some paranormals. Um, link in the description. Go find me on uh, the Discord. What system is that in? Uh, it's going to be Fate. It's uh, Fate Accelerated. Yeah. Ah, thank you. The rules light version. Yeah. Okay. And uh, Teddy Bear, who are you? What do you do? I am Nerdy Teddy Bear. Um, mostly right now, you can find me right here on Wednesdays. I run the Wednesday night game, uh, Vaughnwood Legends, uh, Fate Accelerated, as I said, rules light version of Fate. And yes, we do need pa players to help us through our last arc. We missed a couple weeks, and so we're a little behind. So that means there's opportunity for people to join us and have some fun. Um, of course, I'm here uh, <clears throat> every other Thursday to play Star. Uh, let's see, Tuesday, this Tuesday, the 7th, I'll be running a one-shot for Digimon Digital Adventures. So that will hopefully be a lot of fun. And uh, every so often, I stream on my own channel, Nerdy Teddy Bear. And you can find me on Twitter at Nerdy uh, nerdy Teddy with an I. Um, everybody have a good night. Cool. And Monk, uh, who are you? What do you do? Okay. Uh, this is, I can be found on Twitter at Monk2774. Uh, first time on a streaming event. I'm happy to be able to drop in and be able to play this one and hope to be able to drop into future ones. i um, trying to get more involved with active streaming of the game system because I've been playing games since 85 and really enjoy the resurgent of the way D and D in these games have become with communities. I just want to try to get involved as much as I can. All right, and happy uh, to have you. It was fun. Yeah, I, I, I really I, enjoyed. I, I really like Knuckles a lot, and this party needs someone who can actually stand up in a fight because everyone else <laughs> is just like, "I'm good if I'm hitting oh. on a rooftop a mile away," or "I'm good oh. if," you know, like, yeah, it's just. I can punch people. I just haven't actually had the chance. Yeah. That's the thing that Capjack's no. also good at. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You guys are great. If they're right they next to me and to. don't know that it's coming, because if they if they do and happen to decide to shoot me, well, better call no. scabs. That's bad. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I am Shogun. I ran this game, and I also run... Uh, Mimic Nights, which is every second, fourth, and fifth uh, Tuesday of the month. Uh, that's a fifth edition D and D game where we break all the rules and, and like all of them, every single one, 
uh it's really fun. we started the game yep. with two barbarians in the party like it's just wrong um and now they have a beholder uh that they just hatched so yeah Yay, Maggie. <laughs> yeah so um and then i also play in the thursday game that alternates with this one the pokemon game i play in that one uh i play a amelia amelia yeah i don't know um I, I went really generic with names so um and she is the 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 pokemon trainer who's the leader of the party and she is not focused on training pokemon she just wants to catch the pretty looking ones and uh doesn't really care about actually winning um she'll shank you for a vulpix yeah but she'll she'll kill someone if they have a vulpix though oh yeah <laughs> uh, all right cool and yeah, that's it. So we're going to be raiding uh, Thursday nights. Uh, I've raided them a couple times Ooh, in the past. All right. Uh, yeah. And so we've just got to wait out this little timer. Um, yeah. Uh, come join us another time. We have a game every single day of the week, uh, except like occasionally yeah. we miss Tuesdays when Mimic Nights is not on, but we're trying to fill those with one shots. So uh, yeah. it's it's pretty good. You come, come and join us usually around eight o'clock Eastern or five Pacific. Okay, cool. We are off. Right.